has the story. This is part of a $72 million grant from the White House to electrify homes with clean energy on Indian reservations across the country. Right now, more than 10,000 homes on the Navajo Nation and Hopi Reservation don't have electricity, so they rely on things like generators, flashlights, and kerosene lamps to get by. This grant will go to installing solar power for 300 homes on the reservations. Those 300 homes haven't been chosen yet, but the selection process will focus on those who live the furthest away from the energy grid. A year and a half of inconvenience will bring big changes to 2100 South. KSL's Tammy Kikuchi reports on the reconstruction project that kicks off tomorrow. It's a big project to completely rebuild a section of 24 South from 7th to 13th East. So 2100 South is getting its um, much needed facelift. <laughs> Salt Lake City Councilwoman Sarah Young says they took into account 14,000 comments on the project. It will include a multi-use path for walkers, bikers, and scooters. Also, they had to consider the many businesses along the street who come right up to the sidewalk. Young says the plans for the project can be seen at 2100SouthSLC.com. Tammy Kikuchi, KSL News Radio. First look traffic, Andy Farnsworth is in the traffic center. Tim, just one crash to start us off this morning. It's on that collector ramp that goes from North 15 onto the 21st South Freeway in South Salt Lake. Uh, they had a lot of flares out on the ramp, but it looks like now uh, everything's just kind of over-contained on the right shoulder. Don't see any other slow spots as we start things off this morning, despite a few uh, raindrops falling in the Salt Lake Valley. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We're getting more reaction this morning on the historic announcement from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints after they announced that they are buying the Kirtland Temple and other buildings from the Community of Christ Church. Cowboys aren't supposed to cry. <laughs> It's that powerful for me. It's just, um, it's amazing. Church historian Glenn Rawson spoke with KSL TV saying this is a huge deal for members of the church and the historic temple will remain open for public tours. The Dartmouth men's basketball team getting some uh, attention this morning. They voted to unionize, forming the first ever labor union for college athletes. KSL, uh, KSL's BYU insider Mitch Harper says it's a landmark deal that could have ripple effects in college sports. There was an example of this in 2014 when Northwestern formed a union, but uh, it had blowback at the national level from the National Labor Relations Board. So it didn't carry much weight. But now in this era of name, image, and likeness where athletes can make money off their image and likeness and all of the money that these schools generate from athletics, you know, students are, are getting wiser where they feel like they want to cut. Mitch says Dartmouth will likely uh, appeal this decision and the fight will continue over the next few years. Park City's 4th of July celebrations are going to look a little different and a little less explosive. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with that story. Michael? Tim, the town's following the example of Salt Lake City, and last July they hosted a drone show in place of a fireworks display. Now, the city council could consider a proposal to make drone shows the official display over the next five years. As you can imagine, the main concern here is wildfire risk. There are concerns that wildfires could spark really easily on July 4th and Pioneer Day, and such an event would place the old town and the ski resorts at serious risk. And adding to this precaution is the Olympics. If Utah hosts the 2034 Winter Games, then Park City is going to become heavily involved in it. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. And Russia says it is considering putting a nuclear power plant on the moon with China. The head of Russia's space agency is saying Russia and China are working on a joint lunar program and looking into putting a nuclear power plant on the moon from 2033 to 35. Yuris Borisov went on to say the move could one day allow lunar settlements to be built. Last year, Russia's first moon mission in 47 years failed, with its spacecraft spinning out of control and crashing. In as Guterres, ABC News, at the Foreign Desk. Looks like a pretty good start for a Wednesday drive here along the Wasatch Front. We'll check traffic and weather together when we come back. Spend time with KSL News Radio and get a deeper understanding of the world around us. I do listen to KSL so much because you've got voices like Boyd Matheson. I listen to him every day. You can trust him. Inside Sources, weekdays 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors, and more. 
Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at Dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's Dell.com slash deals. When you're high, you feel different. You think different, you talk different, you draw different, you listen to music different, but you probably knew that. Problem is, you also drive different, and not in a good way. That's why driving high is illegal everywhere. So if you're high, just don't drive. Make a plan to get a sober ride. Because if you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Can we talk about something difficult to discuss? Are you going through a difficult financial time? You have equity in your home, but nobody can help. I'm Jason Erskine with American Home Loans, and we have created the Bridge Loan Program to use your equity regardless of your credit at this time. The Bridge Loan can be used to pay debts, collections, IRS liens, divorce settlement, or just simply improve your property. Give us a call at 801-262-2221. This loan creates a bridge between now and a much brighter future. During COVID, one of our clients had over $85,000 on credit cards. Their scores were too low to borrow on their home. We were able to save them $2,000 a month, and after eight months, they qualified for a conventional loan and improved their situation. Look, the consultation is free. Please let us see what we can do for you. Call 801-262-2221. That's 801-262-2221. Or go to AmericanHomeLoans.com. That's AmericanHomeLoans.com. NMLS 245422, Equal Housing Lender. Looks like we've got a rematch uh, set between President Joe Biden and former President Trump. The numbers in Utah, they're not done counting just yet. The Associated Press has called the race here in Utah for uh, former President Donald Trump with uh, somewhere around 58 percent of the votes uh, as they are tallied. Uh, Nikki Haley coming in with 42. Nikki Haley's campaign letting us know that uh, she will make a statement this morning somewhere around 8 o'clock our time believed to be withdrawing from the race. 509, let's get a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Back to Andy Farnsworth. And we start off with a cleanup of a crash going on on the ramp from northbound 15 to go on to the 21st South Freeway. Looks like only uh, Highway Patrol, maybe one other vehicle still on the shoulder. Again, that's at the beginning of the ramp around uh, 2200 South in South Salt Lake. Uh, out in Tooele County, we've got a little bit of a westbound slowdown right now out by the Mid Valley Highway exit. That's the one just west of Lake Point, and it is in the westbound direction, eastbound, just fine. Heather? We do have some light rain showers moving through portions of Weber and Davis County. It is leaving behind some wet roads, so you may need to slow down your speeds for safety. Not seeing any snow right now in the lower elevations in the valleys. It may turn to snow in some of the higher elevations going through Weber Canyon and Sardine Canyon, but doesn't look like anything sticky right now. Eric. Seeing any difficulties in Utah County on I-15, a little bit of uh, extra uh, busyness for this time in the morning on State Street uh, for folks that are heading from American Fork into the Pleasant Grove area. Along the Wasatch back, US-40 uh, looks good northbound from Heber City to Park City. Utah construction alert planned for delays on eastbound I-215 this weekend as the road between I-15 and the State Street exit will be closed for bridge maintenance. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies today again, but a little bit warmer at 53. Overnight, 35, partly cloudy, maybe even a chance for a late evening shower. We'll go 45 into tomorrow afternoon with some light rain showers possible. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Yeah, take a look at this overnight temperature, 45 degrees. I don't know if you've been keeping an eye on gold. I, from time to time, we try and uh, mention it when we're watching the movement of the markets, but it is climbing to record highs. What exactly is going on? We're going to uh, check in with ABC News correspondent Jim Ryan. He has, uh, in part, some explanation of exactly what might be taking place, and we'll share it with you coming up next. Find us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. If you know me, Hans Olsen, you know my wife's the most important thing in my life. What she wants, I deliver. And it looks like we're getting new cabinets. I took her to the Euromax cabinet showroom in Pleasant Grove, and she hasn't looked at me the way she looked at those cabinets in 15 years. Doors that close quietly with the press of a button, LED lighting inlaid, waterproof box, shelves, and doors that won't warp from moisture. Every color and design imaginable for those doors. Simply put, the most magnificent cabinets your eyes will ever behold. 
Mike and Max combined a vision of over 35 years of experience to bring us Euromax. Max with his Ukraine roots and Mike with 25 years of installation, it delivers the greatest in cabinet design, building, and installation. Truly, my amazing wife was in awe. We both were. And if I have to buy her love, I will. Go see all the possibilities at EuromaxFurniture.com. That's EuromaxFurniture.com. Whether you're rebuilding a kitchen or starting a new build, it's EuromaxFurniture.com for your cabinets. Euromax, built for you. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. Your tax refund belongs to you, not an identity thief. Over $6 billion in tax refunds were flagged by the IRS for possible identity theft in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Our U.S.-based restoration specialists are experts dedicated to helping solve your identity theft issues. And all LifeLock plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. So we'll reimburse you up to the limits of your plan if you lose money due to identity theft. Don't let someone else enjoy your refund. Save up to 25% your first year with promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. KSL News Time, 515. The three things you need to know this hour. First, former President Donald Trump bested Nikki Haley by nearly 20% in Utah's presidential preference poll last night. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, we have reports from various GOP caucus locations last night with people saying there were long lines, computer problems, and some voters even leaving because of the problems. Third, it's traffic and weather together. And right now we've got traffic on I-15 moving just fine in Utah and Salt Lake counties. We have some wet road conditions up in Ogden right now. And if you're going into Sardine Canyon, you've got snowy conditions on your way to uh, Logan. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Mostly cloudy today with a high of 53. We're down to 45 tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. We're already at 45 degrees downtown with a quick look at our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. Super Tuesday, the last stand for Republican presidential hopeful Nikki Haley, who is now set to suspend her campaign. Sources confirmed to ABC News that Nikki Haley will make her announcement later this morning near her home in Charleston. We're told that in her remarks, she will not endorse Donald Trump, who becomes the presumptive GOP nominee with Haley's exit from the race. Sources say today Haley will urge Trump to earn the votes of her supporters. Haley will have a place in political history for becoming the first woman to win GOP nominating contests with her victories in D.C. last weekend and Vermont last night. It's ABC News national correspondent Stephen Portnoy, former President Donald Trump winning 14 of the 15 GOP contests at Mar-a-Lago. They uh, call it Super Tuesday for a reason. This is a big one. Here's ABC News political analyst Steve Roberts. Donald Trump owns the Republican Party. But he doesn't own every Republican voter. In some of the states, Haley got about a third of the vote. And the exit polls are showing a certain level of dissatisfaction with Trump among Haley voters. And we'll continue to follow uh, results from Super Tuesday. 
Price of gold is climbing up to record highs. We're going to talk about what's going on here. Joining me live, ABC News correspondent Jim Ryan. Do we take this as good news or bad news, Jim? It depends upon whether you own gold, I suppose. Yeah, it uh, hit 2141 per troy ounce Tuesday. That beats the previous record, which was set in December. It's not where it was back in 1980 when international situations had uh, people uh, running for safe havens like gold, but it's kind of the same situation out there, the same uh, factors going into this. Uh, the U.S. kind of weaponized the dollar in its sanctions against Russia because of the invasion of Ukraine. Uh, you have uh, uh, gold gaining a second win from analysts. Describe it as the phenomenal purchases by Chinese consumers. Chinese consumers now are looking for that safe haven. Uh, this is a world market. It's not just a U.S. market. And so when Chinese consumers, Chinese investors are, are looking for an investment, they're buying gold. That drives up the price here in the U.S. too, Tim. Here locally uh, in the U.S., they're talking about the possibility of the Feds lowering the interest rate, but yes. also just the uncertainty, uh, you know, especially on the heels of Super Tuesday. Right, yeah. The, the, the uncertainty is, is a part of that, but certainly also the sense of optimism. Uh, gold investors are, are thinking that the uh, Fed is going to lower its benchmark rate here in the next few months, perhaps by June. Uh, rate still at a 22-year high, by the way, 5.25% up to 5.5%. Uh, that normally would dim the prospects for gold. But in this case, the prospect that there may be uh, a reduction in interest rates has investors buying gold now. So the result of all of that is that we see these record high prices for gold. Yeah. All right, Jim, we're going to keep an eye on it. Uh, I can tell you right now on Market Watch, gold is down about a uh, buck ninety an ounce, 2100 and 40 cents uh, announced this hour. We'll check money news coming up in a minute, but that's our in-depth this morning at 15 and 45. 519 looks like the drive's off to a pretty good start. Let's check it. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. And Andy's back in the traffic center. Tim, we've got some slowing right now over on uh, 900 East as you go uh, up towards the I-215 overpass uh, on the uh, Fort Union area. Traffic on I-15's been moving fine, even the, uh, past a crash on the ramp to 201. Uh, and if you're coming out of Tooele County, uh, I-80 back to the speed limit now, uh, going west uh, through the uh, Mid Valley Highway exit area where we had some delays a bit ago. Heather, no exits, no accidents reported through Weber and Davis counties right now, but you do have some very wet road conditions, and so that may slow you down just a bit. Right now, there's not a lot of traffic to cause delays on I-15 Legacy Parkway or US 89, but that rain has turned to snow in Sardine Canyon, so you have winter driving conditions between Logan and Brigham City. Eric. We do have a little bit of slowing through Parley's Canyon if you're eastbound uh, right through Lambs Canyon, uh, westbound up over the top of Parley Summit. So th those are just probably isolated, slow moving vehicles. I-15 Utah County, northbound, southbound, that's looking good. Don't miss the Bedrock Courts bonus cash event. Get 11% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000, including countertops, sinks, and more. Visit bedrockcourts.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7-day forecast, 53 today, mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow we can see a pop-up shower, but nothing crazy, 45 the high. Coolest of the next seven, that's Friday, mostly sunny, 42. We rebound for the weekend into the low and mid-50s, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Next week, our next, the next best chance to see a storm won't be till Tuesday, high of 53 with a chance for showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Very warm start to the morning, 45 degrees now in uh, Salt Lake City. Of course, big story this morning will continue to follow. And really, uh, we still don't have the exact count, although the Associated Press has uh, called the uh, Republican primary in Utah for Donald Trump. We still don't know all of those votes counted. Hope you enjoyed the coverage last night with uh, Boyd Matheson. Uh, joining Jeff Kaplan, I was looking at some of the uh, comments. Mara Car Caraballo, uh, Carabello was also uh, on with us last night. was just looking at some of the texts that were coming in. This one around 8.30 last night. A uh, voter said, I talked to many people, some middle-aged business owners, sharp people who were denied the vote. Talking about Republican uh, caucus sites. It was disheartening, disgusting, terribly understaffed, not knowledgeable enough to help people get registered. An abomination. One of the stronger texts we got last night, but uh, some unhappy people this morning. We'll continue to sort it all out. 
Uh, and uh, throughout the morning, just a reminder that uh, we got word from the Haley campaign, as you just heard from ABC News, that she will drop out of the race this morning. That announcement coming from uh, South Carolina somewhere around 8 o'clock our time. The seven-day forecast this morning is brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Jazz Plus is here. With Jazz Plus, you can watch games live from your TV, computer, tablet, or phone. So don't miss any of the action when you're at home or away. Can't get enough of your favorite team? Go behind the scenes and see what the team is up to on and off the court. With flexible plans, you can choose what works for you. From full season to monthly, or just pick a single game you want to watch. Sign up and subscribe today at utahjazzplus.com. Would you like to be part of an important research study and receive up to $550? The Beehive Study at the University of Utah is comparing how well two different FDA-authorized booster vaccines protect people against COVID-19. You can decide to get a booster or not and still participate. By joining the Beehive Study, you'll have the chance to receive up to $550 for completing activities such as weekly COVID tests and brief surveys about your health. Call 801-203-0320 or email beehivestudy at utah.edu to learn more. You can also visit the study website at www www.beehivestudy.com. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-973-9717 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollar in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. Silver Dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. Silver Dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-973-9717. Some things are better together, like burgers and fries, movies and popcorn, and auto and home insurance. At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we'll help you bundle your auto and home coverage in one policy, saving you money. And if a storm hits and both are damaged, you'll pay a single deductible. Find an agent at fbfs.com protect. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. Get up to a 20% bonus and up to 12% per year guaranteed for your retirement income. These guarantees are too good to pass up and can give you lifelong income security. Up to 20% up front just for opening an account and up to 12% per year guaranteed. Call Trajan Wealth today. 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Or visit TrajanWealth.com. Guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Watching Utah's Money is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Delta Airlines just boosted the cost of a check bag by 17%. The increase adds $5 to the previous $30 fee for domestic flights. The last time Delta raised bag fees was back in 2018. Dairy Queen bringing back its cherry-dipped cone, but only for a limited time. In May last year, the fast food chain discontinued the widespread favorite. They're also offering chocolate-dipped and confetti cake-dipped cones, if that doesn't sound appetizing to you. Tough day yesterday on the markets. The Dow was down over 400 points. The S&P was also down a full percentage point. The Nasdaq, one and three quarters percent of a loss. But we're going to get some of that back this morning. The Dow is now up 93. The S&P futures up 21. The Nasdaq on the plus side by 132. We uh, have uh, good going on the roads out there so far, rolling at a normal pace. That's good news. We'll check it again next. Addiction is a family illness, and at Renaissance Ranch, long-term sobriety is a reality. We help family relationships so you don't have to recover alone. We're the professional staff at Renaissance Ranch. We don't see addicts as bad men trying to be good. Rather sick men that need to get well. This is our message to them that it doesn't matter how lost, beaten down, or defeated you may feel. Our greatest desire for you is to see what we see, that you are capable of healing. Prepare to emerge to be the husband, the father, and the son that you were destined to be. So to our new brother, we say, welcome home. 
Addiction is a family illness, and at Renaissance Ranch, long-term sobriety is a reality. We help family relationships so you don't have to recover alone. New hope, new life at Renaissance Ranch. Wherever you find yourself on the road of life. The freeway blocked because of the jackknife truck trailer. It's better with guidance from the KSL traffic team. It looks like traffic there is starting to move again. Time your commute with traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. Mornings and afternoons on KSL News Radio. Quick programming note for you to join Andy and the KSL Movie Show crew uh, broadcasting at the Mountain America Expo Center this Friday with advanced window products, affordable, high-quality windows that they manufacture, install, and guarantee for life. KSL News Time 529, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Let's join Andy now in the traffic center. And we've got a good drive going on I-15 so far this morning. They cleared the crash on the ramp to eastbound to, to westbound 201 that we had in South Salt Lake. Eastbounders on the 21st South Freeway seeing a little bit of weight around 7200 West's intersection. No problems along Mountain View or Bangor on the west side just yet. Heather? It's a fairly good drive in Weber and Davis counties as well, except for some wet roads conditions. Now, the farther north you go, the more wet the roads are going to be. And in higher elevations, like the canyons, that rain is turned to snow. So that is sticking in some areas, mostly in Sardine Canyon right now, making things a bit slick. But the good news is we don't have any accidents reported. You're going to have a pretty good drive right now on I-15 and I-84. Eric. It looks like we do have a little bit of snow falling in Parley's Canyon, too, and you've got some eastbound slowing uh, going through Lamps Canyon, heading, heading up to the top of Parley Summit. I-15 in Utah County, northbound, southbound, uh, that's looking good at the moment. For a limited time, open a 12-month certificate from Cypress Credit Union and get 5.25% APY. Learn more at any branch or visit cypresscu.com. Eric Butler, KSL Traffic Center. Hi, today, 53 degrees. Matter of fact, one, two, three, four, five. Five of the next seven will be 50s, and there's an increased chance we'll get some rain late tonight, early tomorrow, but right now just cloudy skies and 45 degrees. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning. KSL News Time is 5:30, and our top story this half hour. It was a rough night for some GOP caucus goers here in Utah with long lines and registration issues. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston begins our live team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. Peter? Tim, like you said, Republicans had a hard night at the caucuses. State Party Chair Robert Axon showed up to one event, and he struggled to keep order. You will want to scam that. It doesn't work. It's not working. Okay, so it's a capacity issue with the or with the. Why do we need a phone to vote? The party's website went down, long lines formed, and vote tallies went long into the night. One caucus goer told KSL TV what it was like at one such event. Nobody really seemed to know what they were doing. And then when they finally told me what the room was, it was the wrong room. So we finally just walked around until I found it. Democrats had a much smoother event last night, and they're not afraid to say so. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla continues our live team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. Alexandria? Peter, the Utah Democratic Party sent out a press release emphasizing just how much smoother their primary went. The executive director, Tom DeSerent, says the caucus chaos shut out voter participation at the at the Republican caucus, and the election could have been secure and accessible if the party chose to do a mail-in primary like them. The party also congratulated President Joe Biden on his landslide victory here in the state. He takes all 30 Democratic delegates. Reporting live, Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. We have breaking news and brand new this morning. The Nikki Haley campaign says she will drop out of the presidential race, leaving former President Trump as the only major GOP candidate. This is a special report from ABC News. Your voice, your vote. Super Tuesday. I'm Sherry Preston. Nikki Haley drops out. The former South Carolina governor won just one Super Tuesday state, Vermont, but it wasn't enough. She has a 10 a.m. Eastern time announcement today at which she is not expected to endorse Donald Trump, but instead will encourage him to earn the support of independents and Republicans who supported her. ABC News political analyst Steve Roberts with more on that. Donald Trump owns the Republican Party but he doesn't own every Republican voter. 
In some of the states, Haley got about a third of the vote. And the exit polls are showing a certain level of dissatisfaction with Trump among Haley voters. With the election down to the same two men who ran in 2020, Robert says voters will have to make a choice. Put it this way. It's age versus crazy. Uh, and, and those are the two arguments that are going to dominate this election going forward. Nikki Haley insisting she was the only candidate who could have beat Joe Biden in November. Now she's out. This is ABC News. Super Tuesday exit polling shows that abortion and the border will be hot topics in the presidential election. ABC's Brian Clark has more. Abortion is expected to be a major topic in the election, and more than 85 percent of Trump voters in Super Tuesday exit polls say they favor a nationwide abortion ban. President Biden's statement said that Americans had to choose between moving forward or returning to darkness referenced abortion. Trump was also the overwhelming choice for Republicans as to which candidate would best handle major issues like the economy and the border. Brian Clark, ABC News. The economy, by the way, also showed up as an important factor in the exit polling. It's widely believed that uh, the president, President Biden, will uh, stick to that message, talking about the economy for his State of the Union address coming up tomorrow. Also developing, we're learning about a burglary overnight in West Valley where police say the suspect stole construction material from a warehouse and then rammed a police vehicle. Police Sergeant Andrew Steinbrecher says one of their officers showed up on the scene with, with uh, after an alarm was triggered. He did observe a door open on the business, this uh, it's kind of like a warehouse district. He observed a large box truck leaving the, biz- the area of the business. He says an officer pulled over the truck and then the truck went into reverse, smashing into the police vehicle and then took off. They later found that truck abandoned. The suspects have not been found. A man in Utah County told police he didn't uh, uh, pull over when police lights were flashing behind him because he was too stressed out. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with the details of that story. Michael? Tim, this guy was speeding from Hilldale to Salt Lake City. Now, that deputy did pull up and match speed, but ultimately the driver sped off around 120 miles per hour. So when police confronted him at his home the next day, he eventually admitted to the chase, saying he was too stressed to pull over because he was having issues with his girlfriend. He's facing charges for failing to stop and also speeding. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Let's check the speed of the roads out there this morning with first look traffic, Andy. Um, uh, Tim, right now watching the drive into Salt Lake. We've got a good drive, at least on I-15, where we're seeing some heavier traffic now is on uh, Bangor near 21st South. Uh, so far, we've had wetter road conditions up north, Ogden and points towards Brigham City than we have Salt Lake and going south. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Utah is near the top of a list of states for people at risk for body image issues. A new study from the mental health website MindWings.com studied our Google searches and found that we are in the top five for weight loss and dieting searches. Ashley Hunt is a Utah therapist that works with eating disorder patients, and she thinks social media plays a big role. There's a lot of social media influencers in Utah. You see a lot of women and that like pursuing weight loss or cosmetic procedures. Being inundated with influencers combined with Utah's perfectionist culture could be bad news for body positivity. I I do wonder about that and the impact that that also has you know, locally in our state. Britt Johnson, KSL News Radio. It's not exactly the Paris Olympic Games, but a welding student from Utah will be heading to France to represent the U.S. in an international welding competition. Wyatt Hansen won the honor last week in Alabama. He says they had 18 hours over four days to complete four welding projects. All these projects, they don't really have a use other than being designed and set up with the hardest welds out in industry and designed to be easily graded. All these projects are designed to literally be able to test the welder to see who the best welder is. He says to get ready for the competition, he was welding 14 to 15 hours a day, seven days a week. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. I guess some of you might be out there wondering this, but no one won last night's Mega Millions drawing. This man owns a food mart near Atlanta and says people are lining back up to do it all over again. People are winning in this store, and we are lucky. At Lucky Leon's. <laughs> that jackpot is now up to $687 million. We've got some snowflakes falling uh, in the northern part of the state and up Parley's Canyon, but it hasn't hampered road uh, speeds just yet. We'll check traffic and weather together next. 
Bigger stories demand more accountability, more experience, more trust. If it's like an election day or we're expecting some bad weather, KSL presents the story. I'm biased. It's a good local source. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. Good morning. I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off. Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only, because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. And Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. Hi, this is Doug. Right over the years, I've talked a lot about hard water takes years off the life of water heaters and other appliances in your home. Leaves scum on the shower walls, and you almost need a jackhammer to remove that. I've talked about how Kinetico of Utah, an authorized Kinetico dealer, their water softeners are maintenance free. You just don't need adjustment, and they do the job with two thirds less salt than other softeners. But today, I want to talk about the exhilarating feeling of stepping into a hot bath or shower and feeling that pure, soft water cascade over your skin. It feels like every pore in your body wants to stand up and start singing. And afterward, there are no itchy hard water deposits sticking all over you. You really should look into a soft water system from Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer. You can learn more about Connecticut by giving them a call at 801-576-8600 or log on to Softwater Utah. Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer. Then sit back and enjoy your shower even even more. The uh, results of the presidential uh, poll that took place last night at Re- Republican caucuses is still ongoing this morning as uh, we await official numbers. But uh, the Associated Press has called the Utah uh, primary on the Republican side for former President Donald Trump. I'll tell you what's getting more attention t- uh, this morning, and that is the long lines and some registration issues. We'll have team coverage for you coming up throughout the morning. It's 539. Time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. One of our texters, Andy, saying it's raining all through Morgan County right now. Yeah, it seems to be more north of uh, Salt Lake uh, County than it is uh, in the valley. I, a few drops coming down here and there in Salt Lake County. Not enough to really wet the roads down. And so far, we've had good speeds on I-15 and I-80 out of Tooele. It's been a little bit heavy in Taylorsville on uh, Bangator coming down the hill at uh, 5,400 to 4,700 south. Heather? Most of Davis County has dry road conditions. They may still be a little bit damp, but the further north you go into Weber County, uh, Morgan County, as you said, and also Box Elder County, the roads are very wet. And in the higher elevations, that rain has turned to snow, so it's making for very slick road conditions, especially in Sardine Canyon, moving between Logan and Brigham City. City. Eric. Along the 215 East Belt, going by Mount Olympus, everything looks good going up to the mouth of Parley's Canyon. Uh, into the canyon, you do have a little bit of north, uh, eastbound, westbound slowing up over the top of Parley Summit, uh, probably just some slow moving semis. US 40 along the Wasatch Back is moving well from Heber City up to Park City and down Utah County. No trouble on I 15. Don't let tax problems ruin your life. Let Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox handle the IRS so you don't have to. Visit tax. TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. With a frontal boundary parking around that Idaho border again today, we'll go mostly cloudy skies, high of 53. Overnight, 35. Tomorrow will be 45 degrees with some clouds and maybe a pop-up shower. Mostly sunny, though, and cooler on Friday, high of 42. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. It's a very warm start to the morning, already 45 degrees in Salt Lake City. Yesterday, I think it was in our 8 o'clock hour, we uh, shared uh, the fact that Cookie Monster has now been enlisted uh, on the uh, president's economic team. Talking about shrinkflation. Uh, Karen Travers is going to join us here in just a minute uh, with uh, this conversation about slashing credit card late fees. We'll hear more about that, I'm sure, tomorrow night on the uh, State of the Union address. But we'll talk about it with Karen just ahead. Remember to find us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370. 
888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step plan, taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to, to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan that whatever we start out our income at, in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. I'm Matthew. I'm a senior at Mount Heights Academy. It's an online school that doesn't require me to work in the hours I'm least productive. In the morning, I'm super tired. I just don't feel like I'm on my game. Mount Heights Academy works better for my schedule because I'm more of a night person. So the majority of my school is done at night. Having that control makes me feel more confident about myself overall. It's really empowering to me. Mountain Heights Academy is an online public school for grades 7 through 12. Visit our website to learn how it can work for you. When the weather warms up, it's like a stampede. Except instead of dust stirred up by hundreds of hooves, it's a cascade of phone calls to advanced window products. This is Jeff Kaplan. Soon as the sun shines and the snow's gone, people want new windows and frames from Utah's number one custom window maker, and the wait for installation grows longer. But right now, you can get near the front of the line by calling for a quote and get $2,500 off when you purchase 10 windows or more. That's on top of the incredible savings for the highest quality double pane windows and frames, any style, any color. So at Advanced Window Products, they actually build the windows here in Utah. They install the windows, and they guarantee them for life. There's no middleman, and they can pass the savings on to you. They even offer buy now, pay later. So get in before the wait grows longer and get the $2,500 off. Get your new windows this spring. Make the call. Advanced Window Products, 801-850-9100. That's 801-850-9100. Or visit advancedwindowsusa.com. KSL News Time 545. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Utah's Democratic Party is crediting their smooth primary to mail-in voting. The party says the caucus chaos among Republicans could have been avoided if they opted for one as well. I'm KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla. Second, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump were the winners among Utah voters and caucus goers here in Utah last night. Third, let's check the drive with traffic and weather together. Freeway speed so far along the northbound drive. I'm seeing an odd little bit of southbound slowing right at Point of the Mountain right now going into Utah County. Uh, And then uh, for the most part, crash free and roads get wet as you go further north though. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A few degrees warmer than yesterday, but still dealing with the clouds. I'm Matt Johnson. 45 degrees start to the morning and time for a look at our top national stories. This is a special report from ABC News. Your voice, your vote. I'm Sherry Preston. Nikki Haley suspending her presidential campaign after winning just one Super Tuesday state, Vermont. The former South Carolina governor is set to deliver remarks at 10 a.m. Eastern time this morning. With more, here's ABC national correspondent Stephen Portnoy. Nikki Haley's decision to leave the race makes Donald Trump the presumptive GOP nominee. Trump was already on a course to win the nomination outright this month. Haley will not endorse Trump, but instead urge him to earn the votes of those who supported her. More than 2.8 million people did, roughly a quarter of those voting in the GOP primaries thus far. With more on the legal challenges facing Donald Trump going forward, here's ABC's Rachel Scott. Exit polls showing major warning signs for the former president as he faces 91 criminal charges, with 79% of Haley voters saying they would be dissatisfied if Trump were the nominee. The exact same number saying he would be unfit for office if convicted of a crime. This is ABC News. All right, let's go in depth here. President Biden says his administration's efforts to cut credit card late fees could save families $10 billion every year. Joining me live, ABC News White House correspondent Karen Travers. Karen, we have the uh, State of the Union coming up tomorrow. This Mm -hmm. was a promise he made at the last State of the Union. Yeah, it was. And, you know, I think we're going to hear other, you know, things like this in the State of the Union tomorrow night where the president, you know, he likes to talk about the effort to try to get rid of junk fees where you're booking hotel rooms or tickets for concerts and things like that. All part of this agenda to bring down costs for everyday Americans and try to save people money. And these are the things that the administration can do, because right now it's very difficult to do things with big sweeping legislation in Congress, because as you and I have talked 
talked about, they can barely fund the government at this point. And so trying to unveil at the State of the Union tomorrow night a large agenda for the next year, that just doesn't seem likely or practical from President Biden. So it's things like this where they can take a role from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau to close a loophole that the White House says is now going to save families collectively $10 billion in credit card late fees. And what this rule does is now puts a cap on the typical credit card late fee from down to $8, what had been $32, sometimes even $41. The president says it's going to help stop some credit card companies from, as he put it, ripping Americans off with late fees. Uh, This is expected to take effect in mid-May. So this is going to be some welcome news to the more than 45 million Americans who typically have to pay late fees. The president said yesterday it's an average of $220 in savings each year for them. We understand, and usually these are leaks that come out of uh, the White Mm -hmm. House or the administration with any of them, but uh, that the economy will be a major focus tomorrow night. How tough of a lift is this for him Mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, cherry pick some things that are going better when most of his constituents out there are struggling paycheck to paycheck? Yeah, this is a really big challenge for the president tomorrow night. And this is a significant speech. I mean, you look at this. It is probably the biggest audience the president will have maybe until his convention speech, uh, maybe the whole year, depending on how people are tuned into politics by this summer. They may not be as tuned in because people are just you know, not into the campaign process right now. Uh, but this could be the, be the president's best chance then to convince Americans to give him another four years in the White House. And it is a tough sell because right now the White House will say he can lay out what they believe are their accomplishments from his first three years all those things in the economy that they say are doing well, the indicators that economists say are signaling that the economy is in good strength. But the polls show Americans aren't feeling that. And it's the president's job to try and convince people that things are heading in the right direction, despite what they are saying when they're asked that question in polls. So, you know, can you turn things around in one speech? Unlikely, but it does give him a chance to address tens of millions of Americans tomorrow night. But it's also a tough room to do it in. We remember what happened last year when some Republican lawmakers started, you know, shouting back at him. So it, we'll see how lively the room is tomorrow night, whether there's any surprise moments and any interactions of people in there. The White House also loved that moment last year, though, when he was engaged with uh, some Republicans on the issue of Social Security, and they refer to it often, saying it was a great moment for the president, showing how he could kind of pivot and go at it with those members in the room. Well, we'll be watching and listening, and we'll carry mm-hmm. it for everyone here tomorrow night. Thank you. Uh, White House correspondent Karen Travers joining us on the In-Depth at 15 and 45. Time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy? Well, Tim, a little bit of a heavy traffic turning into some waiting uh, on uh, SR201 out by uh, the Kennecott stack before you even get to Magna and then at 8400 West. But not so much on the city streets yet. Bangor Mountain View or Redwood Road, I-15. Uh, dry. Draper to downtown. Full speeds. Only about 20 minutes travel time. Heather? Traffic is filling in through Weburn Davis County. Most of that is heading on southbound I-15 coming out of Ogden toward uh, Clearfield, Layton area, but not enough to slow anybody down yet. Roads are drying out the closer you get into Salt Lake City as well, so your drive will improve. But if you head north and if you're going between Logan and Brigham City, Sardine Canyon has Quite a bit of snow falling. Some of it has stuck, so traffic is a little bit slower than normal there. Eric. Snowflakes in Parley's Canyon, but right now it looks good on I-80 from the mouth of the canyon out to the Kimball Junction exit. To a good pace also northbound from Heber City past Jordan L Reservoir up to Park City if you're on the Wasatch back. And I-15 in Utah County, no difficulty there so far. Get your money working at America First Credit Union with amazing rates on certificates up to 5.5% APY for a limited time. Visit AmericaFirst.com today to learn more. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7 a forecast, mostly cloudy today with a high of 53, so it'll be a touch warmer than yesterday, borderline spring-like for some. Hey, chance for showers tomorrow, 45, 42 mostly sunny on Friday, we back up to 50 degrees on Saturday, mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy, and 55 by Sunday should be a gorgeous one. Early next week, Monday, 57, and then another chance for some showers on Friday, High of 53. From the KSL Weather Center, 
I'm Matt Johnson. Cloudy skies out there have kept things warm overnight, 45 this hour. And the seven-day forecast is brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Paid for by government.com. Here's your chance to get five iconic United States silver dollars spanning the last 150 years in one amazing set. Experts agree this is a must-have for silver coin buyers. That's right. All five silver dollars are legal tender official United States mint coins. If you call 1-800-973-9717 right now, we'll send you this ultimate five-piece American silver dollar set with each silver coin in extremely fine or brilliant uncirculated condition. Guaranteed. This set includes every type of U.S. silver dollar in American history issued from 1878 to 2024. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your 150 years of U.S. silver dollars five-piece set. Plus, receive a bonus display case, an information booklet, and free shipping. Don't miss your chance. Call 1-800-973-9717 now to secure your five-piece set of iconic U.S. silver dollars before they are gone. That's 1-800-973-9717. Looking for a secure retirement plan with Without market risk? Look no further. Lyle Boss, president of Boss Financial, specializes in no market risk retirement strategies with guarantees of principal, guaranteed growth, and lifelong income. Join Lyle right here each Saturday and Sunday for his Safe Money radio show and call him now at 855 355 SAFE for your complimentary customized Safe Money information kit and Safe Money book. Nothing but upside here at 855 355 SAFE. KSL Broadcast Group contests are open to participants 13 years of age and older that are residents of Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Nevada, unless otherwise specified. Employees or agents of the station, Bonneville International Corporation, or other area radio stations, or any entity associated with the contest may not enter. Persons who have won in the last 90 days from a station contest or event are not eligible. Full general contest rules are available at kslnewsradio.com. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. If you ever wish there was a plant-based Oscar Mayer hot dog, not I, uh, there is one now, I guess. Uh, coming to the market this year is the not hot dog and not sausage. It's exactly what you think, plant-based brats and hot dogs. Your money at this moment, uh, we're going to gain back, hopefully, some of the losses from yesterday. The uh, Dow is up about three-tenths of a percent with a gain of 104. The S&P is up 22 and a half. The NASDAQ this hour up 142. It is time this morning for Cougar Tracks, brought to you by Central Bank CB Vault, Utah's help center for startups and entrepreneurs. Visit CBUtah.com. Here's uh, KSL's BYU insider, Mitch Harper. 20th ranked BYU basketball is back on the road in the gauntlet of the Big 12 tonight. It's BYU's last road game of the regular season, and it might be the toughest. Tonight, BYU takes on number six, Iowa State. BYU defeated the Cyclones in January in Provo, 87-72. But in Ames, the Cyclones are undefeated and are looking for their first perfect season at home since 2002. They're an incredible team, and it's an incredible venue. I'm excited for the guys to go experience it. It's like everywhere we go is so good, isn't it? Yeah. Like every single gym. You know, I've been there a couple times, and, it, you know, they're an incredible team. They have great leadership. They're really athletic, really skilled. They play incredible basketball everywhere, but especially at home. And so it's going to be a massive challenge for our guys. BYU versus Iowa State tips off tonight at 7 p.m. with pregame coverage beginning at 6 and all the in-game coverage can be found on kslsports.com. With Cougar Tracks, I'm Mitch Harper. On your legacy home of the BYU Cougars, KSL News Radio. Are you a startup, entrepreneur, or business owner looking for funding? Look no further than Central Bank's CB Vault, Utah's help center for startups and entrepreneurs. CB Vault understands the unique challenges faced by business owners. CB Vault is here to help you start, grow, or thrive with a dedicated help center for startups and entrepreneurs, providing personalized financial solutions, networking, and guidance for every step of the way. With a range of services tailored for startups and small businesses and expert financial advice to flexible loan options, CB Vault helps you get funding and allows you to keep your equity. Whether you're seeking funding, planning expansion, or navigating the financial landscape, CB Vault's team of experts is ready to assist you in turning your vision into reality. 
Don't let financial barriers hold you back. Central Bank's CB Vault is here to unlock your business potential. Visit CB Vault today at cbutah.com. Central Bank, voted best bank in Utah Valley. Strong, local, secure. Since 1891. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Only one type of burger. For every pallet. Fries are extra. Large in size. We've got the shakes. Going over the brim. Hey, this is Chris from JCW's. Put a positive, delicious spin on your day at any one of our five locations. In Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, or Harriman. JCW's, quality and a lot of it. The Cougars are fighting for their best chance in the Big Dance. BYU's displayed its resiliency throughout this campaign. Wow. The Big 12 tournament is days away, and then it's the NCAA tournament. Tonight, it's BYU, Iowa State. Free game is at 6 and tip off at 7 on Utah's legacy home for the Cougars. KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 559. Traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we looking, Andy? Uh, we're looking okay in the Salt Lake Valley. No delays yet. And volumes have started to increase, but the roads are dry, and that's uh, keeping things at the full speed limit. Tooele County, no delays on SR 36, and uh, no crashes on our city streets yet. Uh, Heather? Looks like the rain and snow mix is easing up through Sardine Canyon right now. It's left behind quite a bit of moisture, though. I'm seeing a lot of spray kick up from tires, and that snow has stuck to the sides of the roadway, so things are a little bit slick between Logan and Brigham City. Now, once you hop on I 50, the roads are pretty wet as well, but the closer you get to Salt Lake City, the drier the roads are. Eric. Looks pretty good in Utah County this morning. Northbound from Provo to Point of the Mountain. If you're getting on at University Avenue, that's a typical 20-minute drive. And the major feeders over to the freeway. Uh, no consternation for any drivers this morning in Utah County. If you're out in the Wasatch back, US 40 looks good northbound from Heber City up to the Park City area. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance, where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brand you know the prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. So we're going to look for a high today in the 50s, and I think I told you a minute ago five of the next seven days will actually be in the 50s with the warmest coming on Monday at 57. That's the setup to another round of precipitation uh, both Monday night and Tuesday morning. We've got that same expectation tonight and tomorrow. 53 for a high, and right now it's 45 in Salt Lake. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 6 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. Amanda has the morning off. And our top story this hour. Utah's Super Tuesday Caucus, a special hour on Utah's Morning News. Let's go in depth here. The Super Tuesday results are in and Nikki Haley is out. ABC Sherry Preston begins our team coverage. This is a special report from ABC News. Your voice, your vote. I'm Sherry Preston. Nikki Haley suspending her presidential campaign after winning just one Super Tuesday state, Vermont. The former South Carolina governor is set to deliver remarks at 10 a.m. Eastern time this morning. With more, here's ABC national correspondent Stephen Portnoy. Nikki Haley's decision to leave the race makes Donald Trump the presumptive GOP nominee. Trump was already on a course to win the nomination outright this month. Haley will not endorse Trump, but instead urge him to earn the votes of those who supported her. More than 2.8 million people did, roughly a quarter of those voting in the GOP primaries thus far. With more on the legal challenges facing Donald Trump going forward, here's ABC's Rachel Scott. Exit polls showing major warning signs for the former president as he faces 91 criminal charges, with 79 percent of Haley voters saying they would be dissatisfied if Trump were the nominee. The exact same number saying he would be unfit for office if convicted of a crime. This is ABC News. And we will carry part of Nikki Haley's remarks live, we're told, should happen around 8 o'clock our time this morning. Here in Utah, Donald Trump beat out Haley for nearly uh, by nearly 20 points at the Republican caucus last night. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston continues our live team coverage of the Super Tuesday caucus. Peter? Tim, Utah turned out to be a blowout, but it was still the closest contest between former President Donald Trump and Nikki Haley, minus Vermont, where Haley won. Trump got 58% to Nikki Haley's 42% here in Utah, and the Associated Press has declared that the gap is too big for Haley to make up. There's still a third of votes left to count. And Trump won this round without needing to visit the state once. 
while Haley touched down in Salt Lake City last week and gave a speech at Utah Valley University. This Trump win is a big turnaround from 2016 when he snagged only 14% of the vote, but Trump got a bigger primary win in 2020 against a list of more obscure names. However, Trump and Haley voters could agree that last night's caucuses were messy. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson continues our team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. South Jordan resident Carrie Butler says tempers flared at the Bingham High School caucus meeting. There was a guy that just screamed at one of these cute little high school kids that was checking people in and tensions were, were pretty high. When people couldn't get registered because they couldn't get onto the website, or in my case, had already registered but couldn't find a QR code. Butler says problems seemed to escalate when the server went down. She says after about an hour and a half, everybody was allowed into the meetings. According to KSL.com, GOP Chair Robert Axon blamed the confusion on volunteers not showing up and a lack of awareness of how the system works. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. The Democratic Party had a very different night here in Utah. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla continues our live team coverage. Alexandria. Em, the Democrats opted for a traditional mail in primary election, and it seemingly paid off with a much less chaotic night. President Joe Biden won in a landslide victory with 87.5% of the votes. The runner ups were neck and neck. Marianne Williamson got 4.9% of the votes, compared to Dean Phillips' 4.4%. But that vote, the 300 vote difference, it doesn't really matter when compared to the 51,000 vote difference between Williamson and President Biden. All of the state's 30 Democratic delegates will go to the current president. Reporting live, Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. We have other local news this morning. The White House is investing millions to bring electricity to homes on tribal lands, including some homes here in Utah. More than 10,000 homes across the Navajo Nation and Hopi Reservation aren't currently connected to the power grid. It uh, could be similar to a camping situation where you have either a battery-operated lantern or an oil lantern or a kerosene lantern. Chelsea Chi, Deputy Director with Native Renewables, says this grant money will provide them with modern resources. 300 homes will be chosen to receive solar energy access, though which homes has yet to be determined. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. Big changes are coming to Sugar House section of 2100 South. Salt Lake City Councilwoman Sarah Young says a new roadway will be built with pedestrians in mind. We'll actually see a new multi-use path that folks can use for bike riding, for walking, even a scooter um, that will be coming as part of this new design. Construction will kick off on Thursday and take a year and a half to complete. And he's back in the traffic center now with your first look traffic. And so far, we haven't had any crashes on I-15 to slow you down. There's a little bit of an I-80 delay right now, about a quarter mile past Saltaire as you head into Salt Lake County from Tooele. Haven't seen any issues, though, going into Parley's Canyon so far or big or little Cottonwood Canyons. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We continue to get more reaction this morning after the uh, Community of Christ Church sold the historic Kirkland Temple to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Lauren Mathias served a mission in Kirtland. I felt very, very emotional, and the memories came flooding back, and I find today very historical and very humbling. Mathias says the community of uh, Christ Church did a lot to preserve and care for the temple. Dartmouth men's basketball team has voted to unionize. KSL BYU insider Mitch Harper says he can see other teams doing something similar. We've seen from government basically they've invited people to sue the ncaa and you will probably win and all the the legal terms about the ncaa and college athletics they are losing at a rapid rate in the court system and so i can only imagine that there's going to be more opportunities for this mitch says dartmouth will likely appeal this decision and the fight will continue over the next few years Park City could be uh, making some changes to the city's 4th of July celebrations. We get that story this morning from KSL News Radio's Michael Commit. Michael? Tim, you'll recall how the town did a drone show last July for Independence Day. Well, now the city council is considering doing that again for the next five years. Now, I'm a fan of fireworks, but you got to remember, wildlife or wildfire risk is at its highest on the 4th of July and Pioneer Day. And now the city could be the site of the 2034 Olympic Games and the Sundance Film Festival. So they're taking fire prevention pretty seriously now. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. There were some amazing displays uh, at last year's 4th of July celebrations using drones. All right, normal uh, travel times thus far for commuters just heading out the door. We'll uh, double check that with traffic and weather together in two minutes. 
Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon, or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services. And if you have a drain that's clogged or backed up, after you've tried the plungers and products, the next step usually involves some kind of drain snake or cabling equipment. You see, sometimes the blockage is far enough down the line that you need special equipment that most homeowners just don't have. That's where the drains department at Any Hour Services can help. A drain snake can clear most blockages and get the water flowing again. And clearing block drains is what our drains department does day in and day out. So if you're a homeowner with a drain line that's clogged or backed up and you'd like one of our drain technicians to come and snake the line for you, it's only $29. Yep, you heard that right. Any Hour Services will snake any drain line with normal access for only $29. Sink, showers, tubs, toilets, floor drains, laundry drains, even that sewer main line that connects to the city. We'll snake any line for just $29. For help with your drain issues, call Any Hour Services at 801-443-7700. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Ranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Every day, Cintas service reps help businesses get ready for the workday. They provide freshly laundered workwear delivered every week. Mats, mops, restroom and cleaning supplies, first aid and safety products to help your employees stay safe. They even test and inspect fire extinguishers and emergency lights. Cintas helps keep your business running smoothly. See what Cintas can do for you. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. I'm sure you have a couple of main questions from Super Tuesday last night. One is what happened here in Utah on the Republican side. The vote count right now, percentage-wise, uh, 58% for Donald Trump, 42% for Haley. And as for Nikki Haley, we got word from the campaign that she is expected to suspend her uh, campaign coming up, that announcement uh, from Charleston, South Carolina, about 8 o'clock our time. We'll carry it for you. It's 6.09. Time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. We go back to Andy Farnsworth. Well, delays are increasing now as you try to head into the Salt Lake Valley behind uh, some slowdowns on I-80. Uh, this is a going from Salt Air in that long stretch over towards the airport. Uh, it's backed up right where the freeway curves and turns you directly east, so a little bit up mile past Saltair and SR202. Not sure what the cause is, but uh, something's backing you up. I-15 hasn't had any delays yet from Draper to Salt Lake, and Mountain View and Bangor both so far yet to see any additional slow spots. Heather? No delays in Weber and Davis counties, although traffic is definitely filling in. We're seeing some thicker patches of traffic. Southbound I-15 between Clearfield and Farmington. You're also seeing a bit more traffic on some of the city streets in Clearfield and Ogden, but roads are still wet north of Ogden, especially the further north you get toward the Idaho border and through Sardine Canyon. Eric? Utah County, no problems there. Northbound from Springville, two point of the mountain, 22 minute drive. Uh, going through Provo Canyon on 189 and through Spanish Fork Canyon on the Highway 6. Both of those are good options heading out of the county. I 80 also in good shape through Parley's Canyon and between the mouth of the canyon and the Kimball Junction exit. For a limited time, open a 12 month certificate from Cypress Credit Union and get 5.25% APY. Learn more at any branch or visit cypresscu.com. Eric Butler, KSL Traffic Center. Keeping the clouds in the forecast today with a high of 53. Overnight, dipping off to 35. Tomorrow, we've got a slight chance for a shower, 45 the high, then clearing out with cooler weather on Friday, 42 the high. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. It is a warm start to the morning, 45 degrees in Salt Lake City. There's a lot to talk about in Super Tuesday, although bottom line, big night for Joe Biden, who only lost America, Samoa, and Donald Trump, huge night, only losing in Vermont. We'll get a full recap with America in the Morning's John Stolness coming up here in just a minute. Stay with me, and remember to look for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. 
I love being a bartender. I love waiting tables. But at the end of my shift, my feet were killing me. And so I had to pretend like I was having a good time. And really, I couldn't wait to sit down. But it wasn't just my feet. It was also my knees were achy. A lot of neck pain, too. I was in so much pain. I kind of lost hope, really. And then I saw the Good Feet store, and that's when everything changed. For over 20 years, we've helped people like Kristen enjoy their work again without their feet getting in the way. It was pretty shocking to realize that I'd been in so much pain, and suddenly I'm completely pain-free. Now that I have the Good Feet Arch Supports, I don't have to pretend to be happy. I'm genuinely happy. So, cheers. My name is Kristen, and that's my Good Feet story. See what we can do for you with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. Stop by the Good Feet Store in Farmington, Riverton, or Sandy for a free fitting. Call 1-800-NEW-FEET or visit goodfeet.com. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. American energy is under attack. Joe Biden has waged a war on American natural resources and made it harder to produce affordable, reliable, and clean energy right here in Utah. Our energy prices are already going up. Biden's policies will make it worse. But Republican John Curtis has our back. There is no greater supporter of unleashing American energy than John Curtis. John Curtis knows our abundant natural resources help keep us free and safe, powers our economy, keeps the lights on, and keeps Utah on the move. John Curtis is Utah tough. He's taken the fight to Joe Biden and the Washington politicians who all want to hurt American energy. And now we need a conservative to take the fight to the United States Senate. We need Republican John Curtis, a strong defender of American energy dominance in the fight for us. Paid for by Clear Path Action Fund, not authorized by any candidate or candidate committee. KSL News Time 615. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Utah Republicans endured a crash website, long lines, and a lot of confusion at last night's caucuses. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, the Sugar House section of 2100 South will be under construction starting on Thursday, tomorrow. The year and a half long project should make the area more pedestrian friendly. Third, let's check the drive with traffic and weather together. Got a bit of an eastbound slowdown on I 80 going from Saltaire towards the airport. It lasts for about a half a mile, is all. Uh, but uh, if you're coming in from Tooele County, you will get caught by that. Uh, traffic is uh, looking good on I-15, though, at least, between Ogden, Salt Lake, and Provo. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Mostly cloudy today with a high of 53. We're down to 45 tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. It's 42 degrees already to start the morning, and time for a look at our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston, headed toward a rematch in November with former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley set to announce this morning that she's dropping out of the GOP presidential race. And without a major shakeup between now and November, voters, it appears, will be left with the same two candidates as they had four years ago. ABC Good Morning America anchor George Stephanopoulos has more on the race between Donald Trump and President Joe Biden. They're both very unpopular. So you got a rematch between two unpopular presidents. I think setting aside health issues, which mm -hmm. could affect either candidate, is going to turn on three Three big questions. Which candidate does the best job of turning out their core supporters? What happens with these voters who don't like either candidate? Do they stay home? Do they break for one candidate? And then finally, what happens with these third party candidates? People like Cornell West, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. No third party candidate has ever won, but they have changed races, and that could happen this year as well. Nikki Haley is set to make her announcement this morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. Lawmakers in Alabama today will vote on measures to protect IVF after the state Supreme Court ruled that frozen embryos used in the process 
are essentially children. International pressure is mounting, but there's still no ceasefire agreement for the fighting in Gaza. U.S. airdrops of aid and ready-to-eat meals continue. You're listening to ABC News. And as you just heard, former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden headed for a rematch after the Super Tuesday results. We get the update from America in the Morning's John Stolness. They uh, call it Super Tuesday for a reason. This is a big one. It was a runaway victory for Trump last night, losing just one of the 15 primary contests in the Republican primary. Nikki Haley's lone victory coming in Vermont. Speaking to supporters at his Mar-a-Lago estate last night, the former president promising things will be different if he wins back the White House. We're going to close our borders. We're going to drill, baby, drill. We're going to get the inflation down. And we are going to make our country greater than ever before. And we're going to do it quickly. We're going to do it quickly. It's going to go fast. Trump now shifting his attention to the general election and Joe Biden, not mentioning Haley's name once in his subdued 20-minute speech. This is a magnificent place, a magnificent country, and it's so sad to see how far it's come and gone. On the Democratic side, Biden won all his contests over challengers Marianne Williamson and Dean Phillips. In a statement released last night, the president warning a second Trump term in office would lead to a, quote, return to chaos, division, and darkness. Biden said Trump, quote, is driven by grievance and grift, focused on his own revenge and retribution, not the American people. And in a preview of what we might expect on the campaign trail this spring and summer, Trump lashing out at Biden as well. He's the worst president in the history of our country. There's never been anything like what's happening to our country. A recent Associated Press NORC poll found that despite the results at the ballot box last night, Americans are less than enthused with a rematch. Just 38 percent of Americans have a favorable opinion of Donald Trump, and Biden's approval rating is also at 38 percent. John Stolness, Washington. There was another exit poll that caught my eye from last night uh, from Iowa, where they were talking about three-fourths of Iowans think the country is headed in the wrong direction We will continue to sort out, uh, and by the way, some uh, of those votes, some of those tallies still being made this hour. But we do know one thing. Nikki Haley announced that she will be uh, dropping out of the race this morning or will make a statement uh, to that effect, suspending her uh, campaign. She's scheduled to speak around 8 o'clock Utah time. We'll have her comments for you live. That's the in-depth this morning at 15 and 45. And at 619, if you're on your way in, let's check your traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we looking, Andy? Well, Tim, it's moving a little bit better now in that stretch from Saltaire to the airport on I-80 where we had to, some stop and go for a bit. There is a little bit of a reduction in speed about a half mile past Saltaire that you'll have to get through, but it shouldn't add more than a minute or two to your drive. It looks good on the main corridor of I-15 from Draper to Salt Lake and uh, yet to see any real slow spots on our city streets that uh, are out of the ordinary uh, in the Salt Lake Valley anyway. Heather? Well, we do have a crash in Ogden. This is on 12th Street heading westbound approaching I-15. You've got a left lane and the median block. Now everybody can get by on the right, but it is starting to back traffic up as those people are trying to get to the freeway and they're down a lane. Other than that, you still have a pretty good drive through Weber and Davis County. Everyone's at speed. Southbound I-15 from Ogden to Salt Lake. That's less than 30 minutes. And no delays on Legacy Parkway or the West Side Belt. Eric. It's a 20-minute drive northbound from Provo to Point of the Mountain if you're in Utah County this morning. Drivers out in Eagle Mountain, Saratoga Springs, so you should know that uh, things are good getting over to the freeway, at least right now. It is uh, getting a little bit slow as Mountain View Corridor at Redwood Road turns into 2100 North for eastbounders, but nothing major so far. Is the IRS harassing you? Are tax problems ruining your life? Let Utah Tax Attorney Jordan Wilcox help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Eric Butler, KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7-day forecast, 53 today, mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow we can see a pop-up shower, but nothing crazy, 45 the high. Coolest of the next seven, that's Friday, mostly sunny, 42. We rebound for the weekend into the low and mid-50s, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Next week, our next best chance to see a storm won't be till Tuesday, High of 53 with a chance for showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. So we started the morning at 45, dipped to 42. Now we're at 43 degrees downtown. Either way you look at it, it is uh, warm out there to start the day. 
The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Uh, Mitch was talking about this on his Cougar tracks this morning. This is a huge game for the Cougs tonight as they uh, head to uh, Iowa to take on Iowa State. And Mitch thinks might be the toughest game on the road they've had all year, which is saying something considering they've already been to Kansas and pulled off a win. But Iowa State, it turns out, undefeated on the season on their home court. We'll have the pregame at 6, the tip-off at 7 tonight here on the home of the Cougars, KSL News Radio. Fifteen years ago, we were adding on to our home, and so I convinced Sean we should update the kitchen. We we did some research, and we decided to go with three-day kitchen and bath. Their reputation was phenomenal. To design, do the construction and the finish work, what we wanted was what we got from start to finish. So fast forward 15 years, uh, our family's changed. We've gotten bigger. There just wasn't the space in the kitchen anymore. People were banging into each other. We decided three-day kitchen and bath. Here's the problem. What are our solutions? Comparing working with three-day kitchen and bath 15 years ago, today, their ability to design what you want was the same. Everything has been what I want. The quality of three-day kitchen and bath, I think, is phenomenal. The countertops and the cabinets that they use are, are great. They were just good guys doing good work. For more about your new kitchen or bath, visit 3daykitchen.com. Three-day kitchen and bath. It's complicated. These days, that's how people even describe their relationship status. When it comes to the latest complexities in your car, it's gotten really complicated. The experts at Amco undergo the most rigorous training to stay on top of the latest car technologies, so there's nothing we can't fix. Well, except for that complicated relationship. When it comes to that, you're on your own. Double A, MCO. Check engine light on, we'll check it for free. Hi, I'm Jay Broadbent with Alpine Home Medical. This is a story that came to us from a real customer, and I wanted to share it with you. We came in looking for a scooter for our mother. The staff at Alpine showed us different options for scooters and battery-operated wheelchairs and helped us find one that was easy for her to handle and easy for us to get in and out of her car. They have fabulous customer service. We love hearing about your experiences. Visit us online at alpinehomemedical.com. Hi, I'm Jay Broadbent with Alpine Home Medical. This is a story that came to us from a real customer, and I wanted to share it with you. I'm a new CPAP user. The only thing I knew about CPAP when I walked in the door was that I didn't want to wear one. The introductory class with the respiratory therapist at Alpine was great. I left feeling confident and less intimidated by the whole process. We love hearing about your experiences. Visit us online at alpinehomemedical.com. Let's take a look at Utah's money here, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. The European Union is cracking down on tech companies, and new regulations are in store for Europeans due to the Digital Markets Act. There will now be new choices for default browsers and search engines and where to download apps. I just wonder if that had something to do with uh, their uh, ruling the other day, the fine that they levied on uh, Apple. Looks like Bitcoin's success for the last few days was short-lived. Bitcoin sank 12% from its all-time high that the cryptocurrency achieved late Tuesday morning uh, to below 61,000. That's the wild ride you're going to get on Bitcoin. It was above 69,000 just to get that record and then uh, dropped again. It's the worst daily decline since November of 2022. And congressional leaders are introducing a bill targeting TikTok. The bill says that TikTok is controlled by a foreign adversary. Uh, what they mean, of course, is China. The bill would say that China's ownership over the app is a national security concern and require them to allow U.S. some rights to the app to keep it running here. Your money at this moment. There is one note from Market Watch this, this morning that uh, the private sector of the U.S. economy generated 140,000 new jobs in February. Uh, that number coming from ADP. We'll see what uh, that does to the markets. But we've had a pretty good run-up this morning after a tough day yesterday. The Dow's up 124, the S&P futures up 26, and the NASDAQ this hour is up about nine-tenths of a percent. It's at uh, 18,084 with a gain of 154 points. We have one westbound crash now in Ogden on 12th Street for drivers heading uh, to the freeway. We'll check that spot in the rest of the valley coming up next. 
We want to be able to save you some money, and uh, really, it runs the gambit uh, at NPS. Amanda talks about doing all of her grocery shopping there at NPS. She has some big eaters at her house. Uh, her six foot four son, I think, does his share of eating. But uh, we're, we're talking produce, frozen, deli, you name it. Uh, they're going to save you some money. And you know what we've told you about NPS. Everything they put on the shelves are going to mark down 20 to 70% off retail pricing. They price check it, and then they uh, mark it down by those percentages. But once it's on the shelf, they know they've got other shipments coming in the following day, and they need to make space for it. So they'll say, yeah, we're going to have to blow these things out, whatever it is, at an additional 40 or an additional 50%. Clothes, clothing accessories, home decor, electronics, uh, the, uh, health and beauty. Just about anything you can think of, you're going to find there. And just because you shopped today and didn't find it, believe me, doesn't mean it won't be on the shelf tomorrow. It's that kind of a shopping experience, and we just know they're going to save you money on everything that you buy. And with inflation uh, taking a ding on everybody's budgets these days, it's uh, worth a visit to NPS. It's National Product Sales. We like to think of it as a nice place to save. Four locations, one in Layton, one in Orem, and two in Salt Lake City. Wherever you find yourself on the road of life. The freeway blocked because of the jackknife truck trailer. It's better with guidance from the KSL traffic team. It looks like traffic there is starting to move again. Time your commute with traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. Mornings and afternoons on KSL News Radio. 629 traffic and weather together is brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. We go back over to Andy Farnsworth. Well, Tim, through the Salt Lake Valley northbound 15 hasn't seen any delay yet. Uh, we do have we had some slowing on I-80 coming out of Tooele, but uh, that has cleared now between Saltaire and the airport. A little bit of slowing though in Tooele County on SR 36 backups in Stansbury Park between Stansbury Park Way and SR 138. Heather? Emergency crews are still dealing with a crash in Ogden. This is westbound 12th Street just before you get to the ramps to I-15. You've got the left lane and the median blocked. Everybody is filing by on the right, but it is causing a little bit of backup. Now, once you ha hop on I-15, you shouldn't have any difficulty getting all the way into downtown Salt Lake. City streets are filling in, though. You'll see a bit more congestion on SR-193 in Clearfield. Eric? I-80 through Parley's Canyon looks good if you're eastbound to Park City. If you're westbound from the mouth of the canyon through Sugar House over to I-15, no difficulties there. Foothill Drive this early, looking good going north. Down Utah County, no accidents or delays on I-15 so far. Revere Health encourages you to schedule your preventative care and annual checkups to help increase the potential to live your most healthy and active life. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner in life. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. We have some rain reported out in uh, Morgan County this morning early, but uh, that rain and the chance of it will increase as we get into tonight and then through tomorrow morning, so keep that in mind. But warm day, 53 for a high later. We're 10 off of that now, 43 in Salt Lake City. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning. KSL News Time is 6:30, and our top story this half hour is, of course, Super Tuesday. Voters for both former President Trump and former Ambassador Nikki Haley agreed on one thing last night: the Utah Republican caucuses had some problems. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston begins our live team coverage: Super Tuesday caucus. Peter. Tim, Utah Republican Party Chair Robert Axon tried to keep one crowd calm last night, but they weren't totally convinced. You will want to scan that. It doesn't work. It's not working. Work. Okay, so it's a capacity issue with the white or with the. Why do we need a phone to vote? There were problems with the website, with long lines and other delays. And Republican voters told KSL TV these problems existed even when they followed all the instructions. Pre registered, had all the information, and. Now we're here in the chaos. They weren't prepared for any of this, and I think the Republican Party did that to make it difficult. Now, on the other hand, Democrats had fewer people and fewer problems at their caucuses. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla continues our live team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. Alexandria? Peter, the Utah Democratic Party is crediting their smooth primary to mail in voting, claiming the process is secure and accessible, unlike what happened at the caucuses last night. Executive Director of the party, Tom Desern, called the caucus a pure waste of time, saying, quote, the incompetence displayed by the Republican Party mirrors the chaos that Donald Trump threatens to bring to America, end quote. 
The results of the primary show just how in sync the party really is. President Joe Biden got 87.5 percent of the votes and all 30 delegates. Reporting live, Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. Yeah, some breaking news we're following as well. The rematch between former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden is basically set now. Now that Nikki Haley's campaign announced this morning that she will drop out of the GOP race. This is a special report from ABC News. Nikki Haley leaving the race. I'm Sherry Preston. After winning just one Super Tuesday state, Vermont, ABC News has learned that former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley will be exiting the Republican race for president. Exit polling from last night's Super Tuesday races shows a lot of voters are still unsatisfied with Donald Trump as the only Republican choice. ABC Stephen Portnoy takes a look at Virginia. More than a third of those who voted in the GOP primary in Virginia yesterday told us they were self-described moderates or liberals. So much more reflected, to a degree, a general electorate. More than a third of the Virginia primary voters said that they would be dissatisfied if Donald Trump becomes the GOP nominee. And among people who voted for Nikki Haley yesterday, 86 percent of them said they'd be dissatisfied if Donald Trump becomes the nominee. Haley will have an announcement later today. She's not expected to endorse Donald Trump today, but will encourage him to earn the support of those who backed her. This is ABC News. The economy and the border will be top issues in this year's presidential election. ABC's Brian Clark has more. Exit polls in six Republican nominating contests show the schism in the party. 80% of Nikki Haley's supporters say Donald Trump would not be fit for office if convicted of a crime. Looking at Super Tuesday exit polls, voters in North Carolina trusted Trump to handle issues like the economy and border by a nearly 4 to 1 margin. It was about a 2 to 1 edge for Trump in Virginia. Brian Clark, ABC News. Abortion is also expected to be a hot topic as we head toward the presidential election. We have other news this hour developing. A West Valley City police vehicle got smashed last night as an officer was checking up on a suspected burglary. Sergeant Andrew Steinbrecher says an officer found a box truck leaving the scene and pulled it over. He activated his emergency lights and the box truck um, suddenly rammed his vehicle. Uh, disabling it, and then took off. This took place near 6300 West and Beagley Road. The box truck was later found abandoned, but no suspects have been found. If you're on the road this morning early, let's get a look at First Look Traffic with Andy's help. And right now we've got uh, some delays in Tooele County on SR36 increasing. Freeways have held up well this morning despite some wet conditions, especially up north. Uh, For those of you in Ogden, though, on 12th Street near the depot, you still have uh, westbound lanes blocked going past a a crash that's partially in the median as well. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Police are charging a speeding driver who says he was too stressed to pull over. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with more on that story. Michael. Tim, the whole scene felt right out of a music video. Evidently, the driver was dealing with issues with his girlfriend before he found himself going 105 towards Salt Lake City. When he saw the deputy, he didn't want to stop, and so he sped away at 120. Now, police confronted him at his home the next day. He's facing charges for refusing to stop for an officer and for speeding. We don't know yet if he'll be facing one for aggressive driving. Reporting live, Michael Commits, KSL News Radio. Utahns, it turn out, uh, turns out, are more at risk for body image issues than almost any other state. KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson has more. Based on Google searches for weight loss and dieting, the mental health website MindWings.com ranked Utah number five in the nation for body image issues. Ashley Hunt is a Utah therapist that works with eating disorder patients. She thinks social media combined with Utah's perfectionist culture could be a couple of the reasons why. Hunt also cites the large number of social media influencers in Utah that create unrealistic expectations. A student from eastern Utah is going to represent the entire United States at the 47th World Skills Welding Competition taking place in France. Wyatt Hansen says the national competition was intense. The national competition that I just won consists of four different modules. Module 1 is a set of test plates. To module 2, you have a pressure vessel, which is like a big box or whatever that has a ton of different little pieces. To module 3 is the aluminum project, which they call them widgets. The stainless project's module 4. Hansen says the trainers gave him a week to relax before getting back to training. He's planning to fly out to France sometime in the beginning of September. Don Brinkerhoff. KSL News Radio. Well, no winner in last night's Mega Millions jackpot. Nick Dodd was standing in line this morning to buy a ticket at Lucky Leon's Food Bar near Atlanta as the uh, prize money climbs. As long as I can remember, it's been called Lucky Leon's. Lucky Leon. 
Uh, the drawing now goes up to $687 million. After some earlier slowing, eastbound I-80 coming from Tooele County back to its normal pace. Uh, we only had one accident. We'll see if that's uh, any residual problem this morning with traffic and weather together. A legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger. Offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because we're independent. We're not registered with a broker dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. Call 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. They are still counting and tallying up the uh, votes last night from the Republican presidential preference poll in Utah. What we know percentage wise is uh, right now Donald Trump with uh, 58 percent, Nikki Haley with 42 percent. If you're just joining us, uh, we got word from the Haley campaign that she will have a uh, press conference coming up at about 8 o'clock this morning from Charleston, South Carolina. Believe that she will be suspending her re uh, run for the presidency. 639, time for a look at traffic and weather together. Again, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. We had one earlier accident, Andy. Did it clear? Uh, we did. It was on uh, the uh, ramp to 215 in the Salt Lake Valley. Ramp to 21st South, I should say. That cleared. But uh, traffic coming out of Tooele County has been kind of back and forth. It got slow for a bit near Saltaire and then a little bit past that. That's cleared. Now we have some minor slowdowns. SR36 in Tooele County. Hasn't been bad yet on Bangor Highway, but we are starting to see wait times at 9800 South, 3500 South. Those intersections a little bit busier. Heather? Traffic's getting pretty busy for people trying to get into the west gate of Hill Air Force Base in Clearfield. Uh, the south gate and Roy Gate are still okay, but you do have a lot of backup in Clearfield. I-15 also getting busy, much heavier traffic flows between Clearfield and Farmington. Up in Ogden is where we're still cleaning up a crash. This is westbound 12th Street. Just before you get to I-15, you still have the left lane and the median blocked, but traffic is filing by to the right. Eric? Down Utah County, not seeing uh, too many issues so far this morning. Uh, heading over to the freeway from Spanish Forks Highway 6 up to Temple Nogus Highway if you're coming out of Highland, Cedar Hills, or Alpine. All of that looks good, and the I-15 uh, between all of that is in uh, uh, great shape so far. No accidents or delays. U.S. 40 along the Wasatch back, uh, that's also and good. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance, where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brands you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler, KSL Traffic Center. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies today again, but a little bit warmer at 53. Overnight, 35, partly cloudy, maybe even a chance for a late evening shower. We'll go 45 into tomorrow afternoon with some light rain showers possible. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, just cloudy and warm, 43 degrees.
We continue to crunch the numbers and uh, take a look at some of the exit polling information that's come out of Super Tuesday. Stephen Portnoy, who joins us from time to time, ABC News national correspondent, will join me next. We'll uh, see what his take is on the results from last night and look forward to uh, more coverage throughout the morning. Right now, though, it is time for Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, and it's brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. As it gets warmer, the runners come out. There's the Antelope Island Duathlon. You have the Bear 100, a 100-mile race from Logan to Bear Lake. You have the ever-popular Ragnar, but none come close to a race you've probably never heard of because the date is never announced and there's no website for the Barkley Marathon. It's a race that forces runners to navigate 130 miles by map and compass through the mountains of Tennessee. In 38 years, only 15 runners have ever completed the Barkley Marathons, and each time... Gary's changed the course to make it more difficult. The race began oddly after James Earl Ray escaped from prison. And good evening. I'm Steve Bergen, and we have just returned from the Brushy Mountain State Prison in Petros, where last night seven prisoners escaped, among them James Earl Ray. The man who killed Martin Luther King Jr. only made it eight miles before he was recaptured in those same mountains. And a guy named Gary Cantrell said, eight miles? That's nothing. And he began an impossible 130-mile race up and down mountains, through sticker bushes, up cliffs. Runners have to tear a page out of 13 books strategically duct-taped in obscure places. There are no arrows on the course. GPS is banned. Total elevation gains 60,000 feet. 11 miles straight up. You want in? You have to register for the Barkley by mail. Hundreds apply. 40 are accepted. They'll quietly tell you what day to show up, and you wait around in the woods. Could be mid-afternoon, could be the middle of the night, and when the organizer lights his cigarette, the race begins. 60 hours later, the Barkley is over at a lonely finish line that almost no one crosses. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. And it's brought to you this morning by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. IRS harassing you? Visit TaxHelpUT.com. Back in 2004, got a letter from the IRS indicating that I was no longer married and therefore they were to change my filing status to single. We were, we were really upset. I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. Listen to what actual clients have had to say about working with us. As soon as we met Jordan and he started talking to us, he, number one, he made us feel like we weren't the imbeciles that the IRS had made us feel like for so many years. I'm Jordan Wilcox. Let's solve your IRS tax nightmare. We have reduced our tax liability by over 42 thousand dollars visit taxhelput.com or call 801-657-5951 to schedule your free consultation today we can move forward with confidence and assurance that we're okay that's taxhelput.com it's marvelous just marvelous good morning ksl news time 645 the three things you need to know this hour. First, Donald Trump won Utah's Republican caucus last night, and it wasn't close. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, a West Valley police vehicle got smashed by a box truck overnight after police pulled the truck over for a suspected burglary. Third, traffic and weather together. Traffic on I-15 still delay-free in Utah, Salt Lake, and Davis counties. Uh, still have. Uh, well, actually, it looks like the crash may be finally cleaned up. No, it's not cleaned up, but it looks like maybe both lanes are getting by westbound on 12th Street uh, near Depot Drive in Ogden. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A few degrees warmer than yesterday, but still dealing with the clouds. I'm Matt Johnson. Waking up to 43 degrees and a look at our top national story. This is a special report from ABC News. Your voice, your vote. I'm Sherry Preston. This morning, Republican presidential hopeful Nikki Haley will announce that she is exiting the presidential race. Her decision following just one win on Super Tuesday in the state of Vermont. Barring any unforeseen issues, that means voters will be left with the same choice they had four years ago. Here's ABC national correspondent Stephen Portnoy. Nikki Haley said she wanted to offer voters a choice, that Americans didn't want to see a Trump-Biden rematch. She did well with self-described liberals and moderates who voted in GOP primaries where the rules said they could. She won the Republican contests in Vermont and Washington, D.C. She got more than 40 percent of the vote in New Hampshire and about a third of the vote in a few other states. One question now is, where will those voters go in November? Might they support Trump, Biden, someone else? Or just stay home. Haley not expected to endorse Trump, but will instead encourage him to earn the votes of those who supported her. 
This is ABC News. And actually, Stephen joins me live now to continue to sort out what happened last night. You asked the right question, uh, Stephen. That, was, that is what happens to, I've heard one-third, I've heard one-fourth of the voters on the Republican side that voted for Haley. Where do they land? Where do they end up? Yeah, that's, I mean, well, we're going to be keep, we're going to keep asking that question, Tim, for the next eight months. Uh, the matchup has been selected by voters. It's going to be a Donald Trump, Joe Biden rematch, barring something unforeseen. And uh, look, uh, you see it in the aggregate vote on the Republican side, roughly 25 percent. That's the number we should focus on. 25 percent of those who voted in the contest to date, including your state of Utah overall, uh, chose Nikki Haley and not Donald Trump. Uh, and Donald Trump running now for the third time to be his party standard bearer can't achieve, uh, you know, a greater level of support than 75 percent. Where does the other 25 percent go? Are, are these people going to come back and vote for him because they can't stomach another four years of Joe Biden as president of the United States? Will they sit home? We don't know the answer to that. But it's going to be those voters and also disaffected voters on the Democratic side will be key to this race. The X factor. A third party candidacy could still emerge. You have uh, RFK Jr., Cornell West on the ballot. That could be spoilers for either uh, major party candidate. A lot of variables in play. This morning in Charleston, South Carolina, she announced that she's suspending her campaign to use the modern political parlance. She's dropping out of the race. She is expected to endorse Donald Trump immediately. She's instead expected to call on Trump to earn the support of the 2.8 million people who have voted for Nikki Haley in the contest to date. She'll be remembered as the first woman woman to win a Republican nominating contest. It never happened before. She did it last night in Vermont, and she did it last weekend in in Washington, D.C. It is not all great news for Joe Biden either. There are those on the Democratic side that are uh, questioning, and there's the same questions hanging out there about what they do and where they go or whether they just stay home in November. Well, you're exactly right. Uh, we could see it in the, uh, the emerging support for the uncommitted option in some of these states. Not an option everywhere, but last night in Minnesota, it got 19 percent of the vote. Uh, in um, Colorado, 8 percent of the vote. So, so far, more than 200,000 Democratic primary voters have chosen uncommitted in those places where it's an option. And that's a potential warning sign for Joe Biden as well. All right, uh, Stephen, obviously this is going to play out over the next uh, several months, and we'll be counting on you to uh, help us figure it all out. ABC News National Correspondent Stephen Portnoy, this day after Super Tuesday, again, uh, Nikki Haley's announcement that she will suspend her campaign, we expect, a little more than an hour from now, and we'll have her comments for you live. That's the in-depth this morning at 15 and 45. 649, let's check the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by St. Clair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Here again is Andy Farnsworth. We've got some delays building on Bangor Highway, especially at the intersection starting at 47 South up to 201. You'll probably have to wait at all of them. Uh, Mountain View is getting a little worse as well in West Valley. In 201, SR 201, the 21st South Freeway, some delays near 7200 West. I-15, though, even though some heavy traffic has appeared on the freeway, it hasn't slowed you down at all, all the way to downtown Salt Lake. Heather? Well, the roads are pretty dry now through Weber and Davis County, and they're starting to dry out in Morgan County. So if you're using I-84 between Morgan and Ogden, you might still have slower speeds than normal because of those wet roads. But we don't have any accidents. The earlier one in Ogden on 12th Street is now cleared. Both lanes are open. But if you head farther north, right from Honeyville north toward the Idaho border, that's where the rain is still falling, and that is also going to slow you down. Eric. It's punching up just a tad over on uh, around the University of Utah area, northbound Foothill Drive, for instance, between Sunnyside Mario Capecchia on, on Mario Capecchia, northbound going by South Campus Drive and up by the uh, medical facilities. I-15 Utah County, that's looking good right now. We're not seeing any difficulties northbound from Spanish Fork to Point of the Mountain. That's a 24-minute drive. Use superior water and air for all your HVAC and plumbing needs. Call 974-9090 or visit superiorwaterandair.com. Superior Water and Air, we got this. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, mostly cloudy today with a high of 53, so via will touch warm Warmer than yesterday, borderline spring-like for some. Hey, chance for showers tomorrow, 45. 42, mostly sunny on Friday. We back up to 50 degrees on Saturday, mostly sunny skies. Partly cloudy and 55 by Sunday. Should be a gorgeous one. Early next week, Monday, 57. And then another chance for some showers on Friday, high of 53. From the KSL Weather Center, 
I'm Matt Johnson. That yo-yoing temperature is down again right now. It is uh, 41 degrees in Salt Lake City. And the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Donald Trump last night in his comments uh, from Mar-a-Lago uh, pivoted to the presidential campaign, the, the uh, main race going into November. Did not even mention Nikki Haley, which was interesting, and no comments uh, after the votes rolled in for uh, President Biden last night. He, too, is going to make a quick shift because tomorrow his State of the Union address will uh, happen at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. That's 9 o'clock uh, there in the East. And we will have his comments and the State of the Union with all reactions to it coming up tomorrow here on KSL. Money News is next. I had no idea what the world of cabinets might hold for me, but Euromax has opened my eyes to what cabinets should be. This is Hans Olsen, and I eat a lot of food. With that comes storing a lot of food, and Euromax has customized that for me. Deep shelves for extra storage, LED lights that come on as the door opens so I can eat at night, charging ports for phones or iPads, spice racks, elevated shelving for cans, glass fronts or specific color and texture fronts, deep pull-out drawers for pots and pans, and all of it waterproof and warrantied for life. The perfect place to store my most prized possession. My food. Mike and Max have 35-plus combined years of experience from America to Europe to form the most unique blend of traditional American craftsmanship and authentic European design. You can head to their showroom in Pleasant Grove or check out all the possibilities at euromaxfurniture.com. Sleek, elegant, innovative design fashioned in Europe and installed right here in Utah. That's euromaxfurniture.com. Euromax, built for you. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. Watching Utah's Money this morning is uh, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Delta Airlines just boosted the cost of a check bag by 17%. The increase adds 5 bucks to the previous $30 fee for domestic flights. The last time Delta raised bag fees was back in 2018. Anyone using your parents' Max account, be warned, a password sharing crackdown is coming. Warner Brothers Discovery plans to follow suit uh, of other streaming services like Netflix and Hulu, launching password sharing restrictions for Max in late 2024. I think uh, Disney also did it with Disney Plus, didn't they? Dairy Queen bringing back its cherry-dipped cone. Let the celebrations begin. It'll only be for a limited time. In May of last year, the fast food chain discontinued the widespread favorite. They are... Uh, offering chocolate-dipped and confetti cake-dipped cones, too, if that sounds even more tasty to you. Your money at this moment, uh, we're going to get back, at least it looks like anyway, on the futures. Some of the losses from yesterday all were down uh, over one full percentage point with the NASDAQ. Tech stocks losing almost one and three quarters. The uh, Dow is down right now by 162 points. The S&P is down 27. The NASDAQ losing or gaining, sorry. Uh, S&P gaining 27, and the NASDAQ is up uh, 145 points this hour. All right, let's see uh, what's going on on the roads out there. Major routes through the West Valley City area look like they're uh, beginning to slow just a little bit now. Uh, no reported accidents. We hope it stays that way, but traffic and weather together when we come back. You know, it's hard to believe that Dee and I have now been living in our new house for about nine years now. You know, the thing that has really surprised me is how many appliances we have had to have work on and even replace. You know, the one that we haven't replaced, haven't done any work on at all, have not had a minute's trouble with, it's the Kinetico Softwater System. And it's so interesting because when we were building the home, the builder said, okay, well, what do you want for a water softener? And I just interrupted. I said, oh, wait, wait we're going to go with Kinetico. And they just smiled at me like, yeah, we, we know about Kinetico. 
Never once have we had an issue with our Kinetico soft water system, not only in our new home, but in our previous home as well. It just sits there in the basement, does its job, does it so much more efficiently than any other soft water system out there on the market today. Why don't you give them a call, 801-576-8600, or go to softwaterutah.com. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, tested and inspected fire protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day. People think saving money is hard, but really, it's easy. It's as simple as changing a few spending habits. For free tips on how to save the easy way, check out FeedThePig.org. That's FeedThePig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Intermountain Medical Center in Murray, LDS Hospital in Salt Lake City, and Utah Valley Hospital in Provo are ranked among the 2023 list for best cancer hospitals in the nation by Newsweek Magazine for the high level of comprehensive personalized care and treatment they provide. Intermountain Cancer Center locations provide an integrated, personalized approach to cancer treatment care, close to home for patients throughout the Intermountain West, as well as telehealth services. Brought to you by Intermountain Health and KSL News Radio. 659, time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Uh, what are we looking at there? That's I-80 westbound. It looks uh, uninhabited on <laughs> yeah. this side right now. It was an area where we had a crash earlier, but now that that's cleared, coming in from Tooele County, you're moving just fine. We are starting to see a little bit of slowing on Bangor near uh, uh, 3500 south in West Valley. Uh, if you're on I-15, at this point, the main flow yet to see any delays. Uh, but I'm seeing some slowdowns coming off the 201 freeway to go to southbound 15 in South Salt Lake. Heather? Our biggest area of congestion right now in Davis County is trying to get into the west gate of Hill Air Force Base from both Main Street and 650 North. But other than that, you actually still have a pretty good drive, especially now that the roads have dried out through Weber and Davis counties. Southbound I-15, 30 minutes or less from Ogden to Salt Lake. Legacy Parkway in the west side belt also traveling well, but traffic is filling in. Eric? I-15 looks just fine in Utah County. You're talking about a 28-minute drive if you're getting on the freeway in Payson and then heading up to the county line. Out in Saratoga Springs, Eagle Mountain, no problem so far. Northbound Redwood Road or eastbound over to the freeway. Choose a gorgeous new countertop for your kitchen or bath at the Bedrock Quartz Stone Sale starting at just $39 a foot. Visit BedrockQuartz.com. That's BedrockQuartz.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll eventually get to 53 degrees, a little sunshine this afternoon, but rain coming tonight. Right now, 41 in Salt Lake City. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 7 o'clock on Utah's Morning News. Good morning. I'm Tim Hughes, Amanda Dixon with the morning off. And our top story on the 7 o'clock report. Utah's Super Tuesday Caucus, a special hour on Utah's Morning News. Looks like the rematch is set between President Joe Biden and former President Trump following the Super Tuesday results. We begin our team coverage with ABC, uh, ABC Sherry Preston following the latest from the Nikki Haley campaign. This is a special report from ABC News. Your voice, your vote, Super Tuesday. I'm Sherry Preston. Nikki Haley is dropping out. Her one Super Tuesday win in Vermont, not enough. ABC News has learned that she will suspend her campaign for president with an announcement coming later today. The former South Carolina governor is not expected to endorse Donald Trump today, but will instead encourage him to earn the support of Republican and independent voters who backed her. ABC's Brian Clark takes a look at exit polling in one state. Virginia was one of many of 
of Donald Trump's Super Tuesday wins, but he's lost the state in the last two presidential elections. Looking towards November, there could be more red flags. Nearly 80 percent of Nikki Haley's supporters told exit polls they would not automatically vote for a Republican in November. In a 10 a.m. Eastern time announcement this morning, Nikki Haley is expected to emphasize she will continue to advocate for conservative domestic and foreign policies as she suspends her race for the GOP nomination. This is ABC News. And just a reminder, when Nikki Haley steps to the microphone, we'll carry at least a portion of her comments for you that expected uh, in about an hour. Republicans here in Utah picked former President Donald Trump to be their nominee, but there were also a bunch of issues during the caucus meetings. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston continues our live team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. Peter? Tim, Donald Trump fired up the steamroller along with almost every other Super Tuesday primary stay yesterday, and he ended up snagging 58% of the vote to Nikki Haley's 41%. So the state Republican Party chair Robert Axon went to one of these events last night, and he was trying to keep the crowd calm as events as problems came up, but they weren't totally convinced. It doesn't work. It's not working. Okay, so it's a capacity issue with the why or with the Why do we need a phone to vote? There were problems with the website, with long lines and other delays. And Republican voters told KSL TV it didn't matter that they followed the party's instructions ahead of time. On the other hand, Democrats had fewer people and fewer problems. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla continues our live team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. Alexandria? Had a, the Utah Democratic Party had a smooth primary election yesterday. Candidates overwhelmingly showed their support for President Joe Biden. He had a landslide victory, taking the primary with 87.5 percent of voters. He beat out candidates Marianne Williamson and Dean Phillips. Williamson got the second most votes with 4.9 percent. That's a gap of almost 51,000 votes. All of Utah's 30 Democratic delegates go to the current president. Reporting live, Alexandria Bonia, KSL News Radio. Let's go back to the Republican side for just a minute. Almost everyone was frustrated with uh, a messy caucus process. Uh, KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson continues our team coverage. Many people even had a hard time getting registered. One caucus goer, Cottonwood Heights resident Brett Besser, says his experience on Super Tuesday started out as a big, unorganized mess. Nobody really seemed to know what they were doing. And then when they finally told me what the room was, it was the wrong room. So we finally just walked around until I found it. Besser, an independent who switched to Republican because he felt that's the only way his voice could be heard, says Nikki Haley won his caucus site over former President Trump. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. We have other local news to talk about this morning. The Navajo Nation and the Hopi Reservation are getting more than $14 million to install electricity. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson has the story. This is part of a $72 million grant from the White House to electrify homes with clean energy on Indian reservations across the country. Right now, more than 10,000 homes on the Navajo Nation and Hopi Reservation don't have electricity, so they rely on things like generators, flashlights, and kerosene lamps to get by. This grant will go to installing solar power for 300 homes on the reservations. Those 300 homes uh, have not been chosen yet, but the selection process will focus on those who live the furthest away from the energy grid. A year and a half of inconvenience will bring big changes to 2100 South. KSL's Tammy Kikuchi reports on the reconstruction project that kicks off tomorrow. It's a big project to completely rebuild a section of 24 South from 7th to 13th East. So 2100 South is getting its um, much needed facelift. <laughs> Salt Lake City Councilwoman Sarah Young says they took into account 14,000 comments on the project. It will include a multi-use path for walkers, bikers, and scooters. Also, they had to consider the many businesses along the street who come right up to the sidewalk. Young says the plans for the project can be seen at 2100SouthSLC.com. Tammy Kikuchi, KSL News Radio. First look traffic on the 7 o'clock report. We go back to Andy Farnsworth. I was all excited to tell you about a crash that was on the ramp from eastbound 201 to South 15, but they cleared it up really quick, so it's gone. So far, so good on I-15 into and out of Salt Lake City. Keep an eye on that, but for now, enjoy the full speed limit. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We have more breaking news this morning in the form of Utah's monthly unemployment report. It was just released. Joining us live on the KSL Newsline, the spokesperson for the Department of Workforce uh, Workforce Services, Jared Mendenhall. Give us the details, Jared. Good morning. Uh, The uh, report 
uh, just re- was just released, and this is for January 2024, um, and that covers the, the past 12 months. The unemployment remained uh, similar to what we saw in December at, uh, at about 2.8%, and job growth was 1.9%. Now, when you take a look at the national rate, uh, we, we matched the national rate in job growth of 1.9%, and uh, we're about a point below the uh, – a full percentage point below what the unemployment rate is uh, for the nation. Um, and and the, the thing that, that, that's changed over the past couple of months is that we're starting to see that balance between – the number of workers that are available with uh, the number of jobs coming out of the pandemic, there was that those those labor shortages, um, and and it was it was really hard for businesses to find workers to come in and fill fill that. And and what's happened over the past couple of months is that we've 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 hit kind of a, a better balanced, uh, more sustainable level. Nationally, it seems like every time we get jobs numbers, uh, you know, a, a month or two months later, they're revised down, and we learn that a lot of them are part-time, not full-time jobs. Do we get that kind of a breakdown on Utah? Um, there will be some revisions that are coming out uh, later this month, uh, and that's part of, of the data that we get. So we work with the uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics to pull all of this data together and get a good picture of what's happening in the Utah economy. And each year um, – as, as the year goes on, it gets a little harder and harder to get really accurate um, information. So the first of the year, you have super accurate, and, it, and, and, and not, by, not by big margins, uh, but there, w- there will be some revisions um, that are happening. Uh, currently, there's about 1.72 million people in Utah's uh, labor market, and uh, the labor force participation rate is about 69%. And those are all really good numbers. Uh, shows that a lot of people are out engaging in the economy and that was one of those worries coming out of covid was that we didn't we didn't have that that uh as as, as high a level of participation a lot of people were sitting on the sidelines yeah you mentioned uh covid is there still a bit of a pandemic hangover that uh you know uh, hovers over or, or looms over our uh, jobs numbers one of the things that i'm excited about in this uh latest report what happened over that past year where we saw a lot of that job growth were in those areas that were affected most by the pandemic. And in this report, where we see the job growth happening, um, we see about 9,000 new jobs in uh, education, health services. And that was one that was affected by the, uh, the pandemic. But then we see uh, construction with about 5,300 new jobs, business services with about 2,000 jobs, and then manufacturing with 1,700 new jobs, and that demonstrates one of the one of the foundations that makes Utah's economy s- strong and exciting, and that's the diversity that we see in the in the Utah economy. Uh, if you if you look back 40 years ago, if, if Kennecott shut down, then the economy went into a recession. And today, it's not like that. We we see growth in a lot of areas um, where 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 the growth is and wh- where the economy is, is is spread out over a lot of different industries and that uh, provides a, a strong base for Utah's economy and and make sure that this is still a good place to live and uh, and raise a family and, and make a living yeah it seems like every month we come out and we say uh, we're just lucky to live where we do uh, but we're uh, we do I, I mean and, and the truth of the matter is you know uh, there's no economic there's no economic system that's absolutely perfect, but uh, there, there's those things where we have a y- young population, we have a, a culture of hard work, we have good policies, and we have a diverse economy, and that and that does make it uh, it's, a, it's a great place to live. Yeah, uh, Jared, thanks for those numbers this morning. So the uh, January seasonally adjusted unemployment rate in Utah estimated at 2.8 percent. Jared Mendenhall is the spokesperson for the Department of Workforce Services. 709, time for a look at uh, traffic and weather together here, brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app, where you can save up to 20 cents a gallon. And he's back in the traffic center. Tim, we've got some delay downtown on North 15 near the uh, 5th South exit, or 6th South exit, and near the turn to go on I-80 out towards the airport. Uh, This is the main flow. HOV lane looks okay, and it actually looks like if you're going to go exit at 6 South, uh, you should be okay in those two right lanes. So it's the center lanes that seem to be slow. No other delays on North 15 between Point of the Mountain and Salt Lake City, though. 201, a little bit of wait time, 7200 West in uh, Magna.
Heather? Things are moving along pretty well through Weber and Davis counties. You're starting to see some heavier traffic, though, southbound I-15 from Clearfield to Farmington. That's very typical this time of the morning. Also around school zones, they're starting to get a bit more congested as people are arriving there. And you still have some backup at the west gate of Hill Air Force Base, although that appears to be easing for the moment. Eric? I-15 in Utah County is uh, not seeing any major problems at the moment on the freeway. Uh, no difficulties from Provo to Lehigh. Uh, getting over to the freeway, you've seen some little bit of uh, eastbound slowing on 2100 north from 2300 west over to the entrance ramps. US 40 along the Wasatch Back looking good right now and I-80 through Parlays Canyon not seeing any accidents or delays. When you choose Performance Automotive in Bountiful, you're choosing convenience with four dealers inventory. Performance Ford Lincoln, Performance Honda, Performance Toyota, and Truck Country all in one place. PerformanceBountiful.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL hourly forecast. We got cloudy skies at 7 a.m. with temperatures in the low 40s. For the lunch hour, we could see some peaks of sunshine. And then the clouds try to fill right back in as we work into the evening. Look for a high of 53 today. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Cloudy downtown this hour, 41 degrees. Well, he had a late night last night. He was uh, a part of great coverage here on KSL. Boyd Matheson is who I'm talking about, of course. But he was uh, joined or joined up with uh, Jeff Kaplan and Mara Carabello for our coverage of Super Tuesday. We'll get his uh, reaction to how things actually uh, shook out overnight and what we know about it this morning coming up in a moment in depth. We continue to get reaction this morning as well after the Community of Christ Church agreed to sell the historic Kirtland Temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, Lauren Mathias served her mission in Kirtland and says this temple has been a unifier. In many ways, this temple brings all of them back together. It really is a bit of this uniting factor. The sale also includes other historical sites and artifacts. Park City's 4th of July celebration is going to look a lot different, uh, a little less explosive, I guess you could say. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with the details. Michael? Tim, the town's following the example of Salt Lake City from last July when they hosted a drone show in place of a fireworks display. Now the city council could consider a proposal to make drone shows the norm for the holiday over the next five years. As you can imagine, the main concern here is wildfire risk. Concerns that a wildfire could spark are heightened on July 4th and Pioneer Day, and such an event would place the old town and the ski resorts at serious risk. And adding to this precaution is the Olympics. If Utah hosts the 2034 Olympic Games, then Park City is going to become in heavily involved. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. The 20th ranked BYU men's basketball team takes on the 6th ranked Iowa State Cyclones tonight in Ames, Iowa. BYU head coach Mark Popes uh, says and knows that this game is going to be a tough challenge. They're really athletic, really skilled. They play incredible basketball everywhere, but especially at home. Iowa State, by the way, has not lost a game at home this year. That game tips tonight at 7. That means our pregame coverage will begin at uh, 6 o'clock. The Dartmouth men's basketball team has voted to unionize, forming the first-ever labor union for college athletes. KSL's BYU insider Mitch Harper says it's a landmark deal that could have ripple effects throughout college sports. There was an example of this in 2014 when Northwestern formed a union, but uh, it had blowback at the national level from the National Labor Relations Board. So it didn't carry much weight. But now in this era of name, image, and likeness where athletes can make money off their image and likeness and all of the money that these schools generate from athletics, you know, students are, are getting wiser where they feel like they want to cut. Mitch says Dartmouth will likely appeal this decision. The fight will continue uh, over the next few years. Trending this hour on the 7 o'clock report, an anonymous buyer will pay more than $82,000 for the booth where Tony Soprano was sitting in the final scene of The Sopranos. The booth from uh, Holston's Ice Cream Parlor in Bloomfield, New Jersey, was auctioned off on Monday night. And the Oscars are coming up Sunday, and if you ever wondered what's in Oscar nominee's six-figure gift bags, well, now you don't have to wonder anymore. There are a few things inside these Hollywood Elite gift baskets. A seven-day holistic wellness treatment, luxury kitchen appliances from Thor Kitchen, a uh, luxurious Swiss getaway, and, of course, some gourmet popcorn. Yeah, just in case you were wondering. KSL News Time, 715. <laughs> 
The three things you need to know this hour. First, former President Donald Trump bested Nikki Haley by nearly 20% in Utah's presidential preference poll last night. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, we have reports from various GOP caucus locations last night with people saying there were long lines, computer problems, and some voters even leaving because of the problems. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Traffic's slow on North 15 through downtown. Looks like we may have a crash just before the turn to go west on I-80 towards the airport, uh, but it isn't affecting traffic further south. You have a little bit of westbound 215 slowdowns now between I-15 starting to head out in the direction of Redwood Road in Taylorsville. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Mostly cloudy today with a high of 53. We're down to 45 tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now 41 in Salt Lake City with our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. Nikki Haley out of the presidential race. She will announce her exit about an hour from now in her home state of South Carolina. The announcement leaving voters like this Republican looking once again at Donald Trump as the presumptive GOP nominee. I don't want to vote for him again, and I don't want to vote for Joe Biden. Right now, it's kind of, I feel homeless. I feel homeless. <laughs> Nikki Haley is not expected to endorse Trump when she makes her announcement, but will instead encourage him to earn the votes of independents and those who supported her. A lot of voters listed immigration is their top issue this year. ABC's Jim Ryan has more on that from Texas. Last week, the former president and the current one traveled to South Texas to discuss immigration and border security. Governor Greg Abbott says Donald Trump has come out the winner on that issue. What Donald Trump supports doing is actually enforcing the laws of the United States of America that already exist that Joe Biden could enforce if he wanted to, but he's not doing it. Trump says Greg Abbott is on his short list of potential running mates. Abbott says he plans to stay here in Texas and run for re-election. All right, let's go in depth here. Super Tuesday obviously is over. Uh, Boyd Matheson joins me. Great coverage last night, by the way, and you had a short night. Um, what do you make of it here in Utah last night? Any surprises for you? Um, you know, I, I thought that it would be a little closer. I thought uh, Nikki Haley had the opportunity here in the state of Utah to maybe get it down into single digits. It was still pretty clear that uh, the former president was going to win the state of Utah, uh, but I thought it was going to be a little bit tighter uh, in terms of that. So, uh, But other than that, no, no real big surprises. I know there's been a lot of coverage on uh, some of those locations that struggled on the Republican side. Uh, we should also remember that there are 265 of those precincts, and most of them went pretty flawless. Uh, I, I was getting reports from some places that were in, out, and done with everything in under 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Uh, and so some of this, I think, is uh, first-world kind of problems when it comes to voting and engaging in the process. But uh, I think it was a good night overall. I think some of those conversations are, are real crucial. Nikki Haley won Vermont. She said she'd hang in through uh, Super Tuesday, so she's there, but we understand – Within the hour, she's going to step to the microphone in South Carolina. Yeah, and this this will be the uh, suspended road. Uh, remember, most people don't end their campaign. They just suspend it just in case. Uh, she has delegates, so that's an important thing to keep in mind. Uh, if anything were to go sideways, she would have delegates, which would give her some some power and some influence at the convention in the summer uh, if needed. But uh, this is clearly uh, down to the, the two-person race in terms of the two major parties. Uh, and both of them have some things to be concerned about. Uh, both the former president has some uh, some things to worry about in terms of unifying the Republican Party. The current president has some real issues in terms of unifying the Democratic Party, including in Minnesota last night, where 20 percent of the voters, uh, Democratic voters there, voted uncommitted uh, for the, the president. So will the Democrats come home? Uh, will the Republicans come home? And what do some of these independent runs look like in terms of a Robert F. Kennedy Jr.? Uh, no Labels has said they were waiting until Super Tuesday, and they'll decide if they're going to field a candidate. All of that uh, will begin today, and it will begin uh, in about 40 minutes when Nikki Haley steps to the microphone. Yeah, now we understand she will not endorse Donald Trump, and her her uh, written statement, I think, is going to include the fact that she thinks he needs to earn those that voted for her in the primaries. Yeah, I think that's I think that's absolutely right. Everything I'm hearing from inside the, the Haley campaign is saying just that she's not going to endorse the former president today. Uh, she thinks that's a, an earned position, uh, and so she'll continue to make that case of this is what we should be talking about in the country. And that's really why she stayed in the race. And, and interestingly, a lot of people, when Nikki Haley got in the race, uh, she was one of the first to get in, uh, and she ended up being the last one standing against the, the former president. And, and so she, she did some things that clearly resonated with at least a, a good chunk of the Republican Party. So I think she still has a voice. I think she has some things to say. It'll be interesting what her tone is today. Uh, and I always say concession speeches are often the most revealing. Mm. I think Mitt Romney's best speech, 
Hillary Clinton's best speech uh, that they ever gave were concession speeches. They're they're pretty real, pretty raw, and you, you get a good indication of where they might go next. We're going to have a wild eight months here. Uh, I, I love the host of Inside Sources, and I hear him say often, it's not the end, it's just the end of the beginning. End of the beginning. <laughs> and here we go. Here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. All right. Uh, Boyd will have more coverage coming up this afternoon starting at 1 o'clock. It's time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy's thing's stacking up a little bit out there on uh, I-15 northbound. Yeah, it's right before you get to that 6 south exit downtown, but the, it looks like the crash is just after the 6 south exit, and so it's got you slow back to about 1300 south. This is if you're coming into downtown Salt Lake itself. If you're planning to exit prior to that, you'll have a much better drive through the valley, but uh, there is a little bit of slowing creeping in now near 53rd south. We've got a crash westbound on 215. As you go underneath I-15 and come out uh, heading towards Taylorsville, you'll see the crash on the right side. Heather? Well, now that the accident in Ogden on 12th Street has cleared, we don't have too many problems in Weber and Davis counties. Roads are now dry for the most part, so you don't have too many issues from Ogden to downtown Salt Lake. That's about 30 minutes, but traffic is definitely filling in. You're going to see some heavier spots. You may even see a brake light or two southbound 15 in Clearfield and Layton, as well as on uh, portions of Legacy Parkway, especially where we have construction construction and at all the school zones as well. Eric. Over on the 215 eastbound, looks good. Heading north, Foothill Drive, not bad this morning going up to the University of Utah. You do have some slowing getting into Park City if you're westbound from US 40 on Kearns Boulevard. Down Utah County, not seeing any delay spots so far, and it uh, by and large looks pretty good getting over to the freeway. Some usual slowing on 2100 north eastbound over to the freeway, however. Revere Health encourages you to schedule your preventative care and annual checkups to help increase the potential to live your most healthy and active life. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner in life. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, 53 today, mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow we can see a pop-up shower, but nothing crazy, 45 the high. Coolest of the next seven, that's Friday, mostly sunny, 42. We rebound for the weekend into the low and mid-50s. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Next week, our next, next best chance to see a storm won't be till Tuesday. High of 53 with a chance for showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. And right now, 41 degrees. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. This is Derek Miller speaking on business. Backyard Bookkeeper is a woman-owned, client-oriented bookkeeping service that prides itself on quality and consistency. Since 2008, they have offered a variety of personalized accounting services to align with your needs. Co-founder and COO Julie DeLong joins us with more. We are not your average bookkeepers. As a small bootstrapped business, we understand your growing pains and are here to help your business however we can. When we hire our bookkeepers, we look for people who love bookkeeping for its own sake, and we test their skills to ensure they can do the job well. Our commitment to transparency, honesty, and consistency sets us apart from other bookkeepers. Do you need help with payroll services? Our specialists will take care of you individually, set up your tax accounts, track your federal and state liabilities, and ensure your team gets paid and your taxes get filed accurately. At Backyard Bookkeeper, we understand that sometimes you just need extra help. That's why we can help you set up your own bookkeeping, fix whatever accounting problems you are facing now, provide training and customization, or simply take some of the work off your hands so you can focus on what you do best. We love this stuff. Let us take care of it for you. Whether your business is a small startup, a nonprofit organization, or an established corporation, Backyard Bookkeeper is here to help. Learn more at their website. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, speaking on business. Good morning, I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off! Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only, because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. And Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. You wouldn't trust a butcher to babysit your pet pig. You wouldn't trust a lumberjack to repair your antiques. Or a professional wrestler to be your massage therapist. So why would you trust anyone but Amco to fix your car? 
For over 50 years, we've been the trusted experts in transmission repair. Check out Amco's multiple financing options so you can fix it fast and pay it off slow. Double A, MCO. Dave and Eugenific. I was at Super Tuesday caucus night and it was an experience. I saw the good and the bad. I'll tell you why I think this is a one-time experience in Utah. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. If you ever wish there was a plant-based Oscar Mayer wiener, anybody? There is one, evidently. Coming to the market this year is the not hot dog and not sausage. It's exactly what you think, plant-based brats and hot dogs. If you had trouble logging into your social media yesterday, there's a reason Meta uh, experienced a full outage for more than an hour. Some places said it was down over two hours. All Meta platforms were affected. That's Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and Facebook Messenger. Let's take a look at the uh, markets just ahead of the opening bell this morning. Everything in the green after a down day yesterday. The Dow is up 181. The S&P is up 30. The NASDAQ this hour is up 160 points. The major routes through West Valley City seeing some uh, slowing now, and uh, we'll keep an eye on that uh, spot there on I-15 northbound as well. We'll check with Andy and the team coming up next. If I asked you if you've uh, struggled to lose weight in the past, many people would say, oh, no, I've actually been pretty good at it. Uh, I've lost 10, 15, 20 pounds 15 times in my life, (laughs) but it always comes back. That is the dilemma, but it's not anymore with the Soda Weight Loss Program. Why? Because it's not a diet. They change the way you look at food. They have a nutritionist, uh, a coach that is there every step of the way, and my daughter could tell you actually becomes a friend somewhere along the way who knows where you've had your pitfalls, know where you've struggled, whether you eat late at night because you're binging or stressing or You know, and just how to avoid those things, right down to being able to uh, reach out to that nutritionist while you're sitting in a restaurant looking at a menu. They can pull up the menu and tell you what things to eat and what things to avoid or order a certain item and leave off certain, uh, you know, side orders or whatever. It really is a fantastic program that is designed and has the same goal in mind that you do. That is to keep that weight off. My daughter lost 42 pounds. Find out how they can help you. Go to SotaWeightLoss.com. It's spelled S-O-T-A, and it stands for State of the Art. The Cougars are fighting for their best chance in the Big Dance. BYU's displayed its resiliency throughout this campaign. Wow. The Big 12 tournament is days away, and then it's the NCAA tournament. Tonight, it's BYU, Iowa State. Free game is at 6 and tip off at 7 on Utah's legacy home for the Cougars. KSL News Radio. Just a reminder Andy and the uh, KSL Movie Show crew are going to be broadcasting at the Mountain America Expo Center this Friday with advanced window products, affordable, high quality windows that they manufacture, install, and guarantee for life. Be listening in on uh, Friday. 729. Let's get the latest on the drive here. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy? Tim, we still have that crash on uh, North 15 that's affecting drivers coming into downtown. It's near the turnoff to I-80 to go to the airport, so it's up closer to uh, North Temple than it is down to 21st South, although slowdowns begin a little bit after 21st South. We've got some delay increasing over on uh, 2300 East, going up towards 3900 South. It's that time of day. They moved the crash out of the way. In fact, they may have cleared it up completely westbound 215 just after you go underneath I-15 in Taylorsville, Murray. Heather? Our worst delays right now in Weber County are in Roy, both 4,800 and 5,600 south eastbound between 3,500 west and 19th west are going to have delays. Once you hop on I-15, though, we're still pretty much at speed the entire way into downtown Salt Lake City. Legacy Parkway and the west side belt are also flowing quite nicely if you use those to get to the airport. Eric? No trouble spots uh, on the 215 East Belt as you head north from Knutson's Corner up past Mount Olympus to Foothill Drive. Getting out into the mountains, no difficulties on uh, U.S. Excuse me, I-80. But getting into Park City, you've got usual slowdowns exiting U.S. 40 uh, to go west on Kearns Boulevard. Down Utah County, uh, no delay spots right now anywhere from Santa Quinn up to Point of the Mountain. Big O Tires is your one-stop shop for tires and service. Now through March 17th, buy three, get one free on select sets of tires. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. We'll shoot for a high today of 53. Rain coming, looks like late afternoon through the night tonight, maybe even into tomorrow. Right now in Salt Lake City, clouds and 41 degrees. 
You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning. KSL News Time is 7:30, and our top story this half hour. It was a rough night for some GOP caucus goers here in Utah with long lines and registration issues. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston begins our live team coverage Super Tuesday Caucus. Peter. Tim, Utah Republican Party Chair Robert Axon was trying to keep one crowd calm last night, but they weren't totally convinced. You will want to scam that. It doesn't work. It's not working. Okay, so it's a capacity issue with the what or with the Why do we need a phone to vote? There were problems with the website, long lines, and other delays. Republican voters actually told KSL TV it didn't matter that they followed the party's instructions ahead of time. Pre-registered, had all the information, and now we're here in the chaos. They weren't prepared for any of this, and I think the Republican Party did that to make it difficult. On the other hand, Democrats had fewer people and fewer problems at their caucuses. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla continues our live team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. Alexandria? Peter, the Utah Democratic Party sent out a press release emphasizing just how much smoother their primary went. The executive director, Tom DeSerent, says the caucus chaos shut down, shut out voter participation and the election could have been secure and accessible if the Republican Party chose to do a mail-in primary like they did. The party also congratulated President Biden on his landslide victory here in the state. He takes all 30 Democratic delegates. Reporting live, Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. Also brand new this morning, we arrive first thing uh, to an email from the Nikki Haley campaign that says she will suspend uh, her campaign for the presidency, drop out of the presidential race, leaving former President Trump as the only major GOP candidate. This is a special report from ABC News. Your voice, your vote. Super Tuesday. I'm Sherry Preston. Nikki Haley drops out. The former South Carolina governor won just one Super Tuesday state, Vermont, but it wasn't enough. She has a 10 a.m. Eastern time announcement today at which she is not expected to endorse Donald Trump, but instead will encourage him to earn the support of independents and Republicans who supported her. ABC News political analyst Steve Roberts with more on that. Donald Trump owns the Republican Party but he doesn't own every Republican voter. In some of the states, Haley got about a third of the vote, and the exit polls are showing a certain level of dissatisfaction with Trump among Haley voters. With the election down to the same two men who ran in 2020, Robert says voters will have to make a choice. But put it this way, it's age versus crazy. Uh, and, and those are the two arguments that are going to dominate this election going forward. Nikki Haley insisting she was the only candidate who could have beat Joe Biden in November. Now she's out. This is ABC News. Just a reminder, we'll carry a portion of Nikki Haley's comments live when she steps up to the mic, which should happen sometime around 8 o'clock, so within the next half hour. Super Tuesday exit polling shows that abortion and the border will be hot topics in this presidential uh, election. ABC's Brian Clark continues our coverage. Abortion is expected to be a major topic in the election, and more than 85 percent of Trump voters in Super Tuesday exit polls say they favor a nationwide abortion ban. President Biden's statement said that Americans had to choose between moving forward or returning to darkness referenced abortion. Trump was also the overwhelming choice for Republicans as to which candidate would best handle major issues like the economy and the border. Brian Clark, ABC News. We're learning about a burglary overnight in West Valley where police say the suspect stole construction material from a warehouse and then rammed a police vehicle. Police Sergeant Andrew Steinbrecher says one of their officers showed up on the scene after an alarm was triggered. He did observe a door open on the business. This uh, It's kind of like a warehouse district. He observed a large box truck leaving the, biz- the area of the business. He says an officer pulled over the truck and then the truck went into reverse, smashing into the police vehicle and then took off. They later found that truck abandoned. The suspects have yet to be found. First look, traffic uh, still stop and go on I-15 northbound, Andy. Yeah, it's coming into downtown. We had a crash near the turn to I-80, and so traffic's slow and go between about 21st south and, and uh, 6th south downtown. It's getting a lot worse on the west side, Mountain View and Bangor at intersections. Slowdown's increasing across Lehigh on 2100 north. And approaching the freeway along 5600 South in Roy. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Swing of traffic, a man in Utah County told police he did not pull over when police lights were flashing behind him because it was just too stressed out. 
KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with that story. Michael? Tim, this guy was speeding from Hilldale to Salt Lake City. Now, that deputy did pull up and match speed, but ultimately, the driver sped off around 120 miles per hour. When police confronted him at his home the next day, he eventually admitted to the chase, saying he was too stressed to pull over because he was having issues with his girlfriend. He's facing charges for failing to stop and speeding. We'll find out if he faces charges for aggressive driving later on. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Utah, it turns out, is near the top of a list of states for people at risk for body image issues. A new study from the mental health website MindWings.com studied our Google searches and found that we are in the top five for weight loss and dieting searches. Ashley Hunt is a Utah therapist that works with eating disorder patients, and she thinks social media plays a big role. There's a lot of social media influencers in Utah. You see a lot of women and that like pursuing weight loss or cosmetic procedures. Being inundated with influencers combined with Utah's perfectionist culture could be bad news for body positivity. Britt Johnson, KSL News Radio. It's not quite the uh, Summer Olympics in uh, Paris, but a welding student from Utah is going to be heading to France to represent the country in an international welding competition. Wyatt Hansen won the honor last week in Alabama. He says they had 18 hours over four days to complete four welding projects. All these projects, they don't really have a use other than being designed and set up with the hardest welds out in industry and designed to be easily graded. All these projects are designed to literally be able to test the welder to see who the best welder is. He says to get ready for the competition, he was welding 14 to 15 hours a day, seven days a week. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. And we wish him good luck. That northbound slowing on I-15 approaching downtown Salt Lake City is still a problem. We'll uh, check traffic and weather together in two minutes. Join your friends who rely on KSL each morning for the fastest routes to work and school. Uh, I like traffic on the nines. So I need to get the kids up earlier so that my son isn't driving quickly in a snowstorm. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. Hercules Credit Union presents Ultimate ID Plus, your ultimate defense against identity theft. Powered by Identity Force, the number one rated identity theft protection provider for consumers. With Ultimate ID Plus, there's daily three bureau credit monitoring. They've got your back 24-7, monitoring your credit across all three major bureaus. No surprises, just peace of mind. Score Tracker, stay on top of your credit score effortlessly. Fully managed restoration. If the worst happens, their team of experts steps in. Remediation and recovery services. Not just about prevention, it's about action. And dark web monitoring. Patrolling the shadowy corners of the internet, safeguarding your personal information. Ultimate ID Plus isn't just a shield, it's your recovery advocate. Get ahead of identity thieves today. Remember, in Hercules Credit Union, your security is their priority. Ultimate ID Plus, because your peace of mind matters. Learn more at HerculesCU.com. Healthcare with human kindness is here. It's at Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Together, we have a common purpose, partnering with you in health and healing using powerful medicine, powerful technology, and the greatest power of all, human kindness. You'll know it when you see it, because human kindness is in every care site and in every caregiver. Common Spirit Health. Hello, human kindness. They say it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert. You may not have that kind of time for weatherization, energy efficiency, and appliance rebates, but we do. Dominion Energy's ThermWise program has experts who know where and how to save money. They help homeowners and businesses find simple ways to conserve natural gas and rebates through upgrades that may help to save even more. We put our energy into helping you conserve it so you can spend your 10,000 hours becoming an expert in what matters to you. Start with a home energy plan at ThermWise.com. This portion of the news brought to you by uh, Dominion Energy's ThermWise program. They're experts. Help you save money. Start now at ThermWise.com. Just a reminder, we're standing by for uh, Nikki Haley's comments this morning. It is uh, believed that she will suspend her uh, presidential campaign, and uh, we'll take you live to Charleston, South Carolina, when she steps to the microphone. Let's get a look at how the drive is shaping up. Traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Here again is Andy Farnsworth. Well, Tim, we're definitely hitting a peak of the commute with slowdowns on I-15 from 21st South up to 6 South downtown because of a crash. We've got increasing delay around 106 South in Sandy. On the west side, Mountain View and Bangor, be prepared for delays going through all the traffic lights from 5400 South up through 30.
3500 South. Heather? Still a bit of a struggle for Roy drivers on 5600 South. That is heading eastbound trying to get over to I-15. Once you're on the freeway, though, we have pretty good speeds as you head south into Salt Lake City, but you're starting to see some brake lights now between Warm Springs Road and downtown. Haven't had too many problems this morning on US 89, but we also have traffic filling in, getting a bit congested on the busier city streets like in Clearfield and Ogden. Eric. It's filling in over on uh, 500 West in Provo uh, between 300 South and 800 North and uh, further up the line uh, as far as uh, uh, county geography is concerned, uh, State Street northbound drivers between Orem, uh, Linden and Pleasant Grove, you're seeing some stoplight congestion there. Uh, the uh, biggest uh, issue though in the county is the same one as it usually is, northbound Redwood Road approaching 2100 North and then from there eastbound getting over to the freeway that slow. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brands you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies today again, but a little bit warmer at 53. Overnight, 35, partly cloudy, maybe even a chance for a late evening shower. We'll go 45 into tomorrow afternoon with some light rain showers possible. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, it is uh, 41 degrees. Coming up in just a minute, uh, we're going to be checking in live with Utah GOP Chair Robert Axon, get the uh, latest on what we know from the tallies overnight and talk about some of the challenges that came up at those caucus locations. So stay with me for that. Right now, though, it's time for Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. My 40th birthday, they sang the song, Happy birthday to you. I opened the presents and a friend bought me a cane and a bag of prunes, which I thought was pretty funny, but but if I got the same gift at 65, I'd probably be a little upset. And that summarizes the war now raging in the greeting card industry. The battlefield is the drugstore and supermarket where six and a half billion cards are sold each year. This war pits the big greeting card companies and their birthday cards that basically say, old is funny. And when you get one, you're supposed to laugh along. But shouldn't people be saluting your journey? I'll still stand you. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big greeting card companies are fending off upstarts, vying for valuable space in the greeting card aisle. Their weapon, cards that show respect for the wonder and wisdom that comes with age. Look, the typical birthday card for a senior, I'll read it. You're older than dirt. And on the inside, it reads, celebrate another year above ground. Happy birthday, which is... Funny, unless the world's been treating you like a feeble old person who can't put on your own shoes. The Wall Street Journal interviewed people in a nursing home, many of whom said you got to have a sense of humor about rickety knees and stiff joints. But others were more open to the positive messages from companies like Age-Friendly Vibes. Their motto is celebrate, don't denigrate. They reject ageism with cards that say things like, you make me excited to grow older. Or this one, don't worry about getting older. Everyone's doing it, which is way better than, and you can buy this card, the picture of a vacuum cleaner. And inside it says, it sucks to be old. These new greeting card companies say, no, no, no. Be proud of all that life experience. And you're hanging in there. I'll still stand here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. IRS harassing you, the law offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. It's not just you. My husband passed away. He had been ill for quite some time. And um, he did the taxes, but he forgot to send them in. He never sent the forms in. And this was the beginning of my nightmare. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I got all these letters from the IRS telling me I owed them $63,000. I had a good friend that she said, you need an attorney. She said, call Jordan Wilcox. You need someone to fight for you. He said, Cynthia, we're going to give him $3,000. How does that sound? I started crying because I was overwhelmed. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. You have it made in the shade with Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. KSL News Time, 745. 
The three things you need to know this hour. First, Utah's Democratic Party is crediting their smooth primary to mail-in voting. The party says the caucus chaos among Republicans could have been avoided if they opted for one as well. I'm KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla. Second, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump, the winners among Utah voters and caucus goers here in Utah last night. Third, it's a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Slowdowns on I-15, increasing Salt Lake County, stop and go near 45th South, and then from 21st South up to a crash near I-80 in downtown. Southbound drive is bogging down in Rose Park on I-15 and out on the west side near the airport on 215. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A few degrees warmer than yesterday, but still dealing with the clouds. I'm Matt Johnson. And right now in Salt Lake City, it is 41 degrees. Utah's Super Tuesday Caucus. Special coverage on Utah's Morning News. Utah Republicans picked former President Donald Trump as their nominee in last night's caucus meetings. We'll have more on what we know this morning that maybe we didn't know last night. Joining me live, Utah GOP Chair Robert Axon. Uh, Robert, before we get there, can we address uh, some of the uh, what some are calling chaos that happened at uh, caucus sites last night? Was it just uh, overwhelming turnout? Was it technology? Was it uh, lack of volunteers? What happened? You know, it's uh, first off, it's good to be with you. I appreciate the, the chance to chat with you this morning. And, and, you know, it's a little bit of all of the above. We had excellent turnout. A lot of people all across the state wanted to, to lean in and participate in the process, which was fantastic. Uh, we had a couple of glitches here and there that we had to navigate, and some uh, venues had uh, higher than expected turnout. All of that combined for a few curveballs here and there. And, you know, some things uh, went very well and some others we missed the mark. You heard just a a second ago that the Democratic Party here in Utah has responded to that and even gone so far as to say that the chaos that was seen at the caucus meetings is an example of the chaos that will come from a Donald Trump campaign. Do you have a response to that? Uh, You know, that's that's laughable. What I saw last night was, uh, you know, nearly 100,000 Utahns that were excited and engaged in the process. So I'll lean into the enthusiasm that we'll have from uh, quite a few Utahns and Americans around the country that lean into good policies and better policies. And so I think that will play out very nicely in November. Uh, I had Boyd Matheson on last half hour. He was pointing out the fact that uh, I don't know how many caucus sites were there, are over 250, and that most of them did go well. Yep, exactly. So we actually have uh, just about 2,400 uh, caucus precinct meetings around the state uh, in hundreds of locations. And so the vast, vast majority of those went, uh, you know, went very well and smoothly. And really, it was the check-in process in a couple of locations got overwhelmed. And like I said, we missed the mark on that. We'll have to have those lessons learned. But by and large, uh, you know, we were blessed with the the turnout of a lot of Utahns that cared. And that's what created the challenges. I'll take that any day. In the minute or so we have left, let's talk about some of the results last night. I've heard statistics of uh, Donald Trump 58, uh, Nikki Haley 42, but it sounds like things are still being counted from the presidential preference poll. Yeah, we're at about 85 percent reported now, and and the last few will be updated. Last uh, few percentages of our uh, precinct meetings will be updated over the next couple of hours. Uh, But the the numbers that you said are exactly right. Right now we have Donald Trump at about 57 percent, Nikki Haley at about 41 percent. So uh, the numbers speak for themselves. It was a great night for Donald Trump. Uh, and like I said, we will have those uh, n- those finalized numbers here in the next couple of hours. Some of us have been wondering, and I don't know whether you have these statistics at your fingertips, what percentage of uh, Republicans actually showed up to participate? Do we know? You know, I don't have that right in front of me, um, but I'll tell you that uh, at caucus we had numbers that uh, are, are some of the high water mark of what we've had attend. Uh, so it was very well attended. Uh, and again, you know, the nice thing was every Utah Republican had the opportunity to participate should they have decided to. And we look forward to engaging with our Utah Republicans throughout this election year on behalf of all of our candidates. Utah GOP Chair Robert Axon, thanks for your time this morning. I know it's been a long night. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it and appreciate all the the Utahns who showed up and all of our volunteers. And that is the in-depth this morning at 15 and 45. Traffic and weather together here at 749 is brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Back to Andy Farnsworth.
Tim, North 15, couple of slow spots. I-15 from 53rd to 45th South. You'll have to hit the brakes and maybe even come to a stop. The other stretch is from 21st South to the 6th South exit downtown. If you're coming out of Tooele County, I-80, just fine all the way to the airport from Lake Point. But 201, you'll hit some backups in around 7200 West right now. Heather? Traffic is below the speed limit now. Southbound I-15 from about Beck Street in North Salt Lake down into, into downtown. But if you're on the west side belt at that same stretch between Legacy Parkway uh, off-ramp and getting over to I-80 westbound. You also have some very heavy traffic with a little bit of slowing there as well. It's adding about three or four minutes to your commute. Now north of that in Weber and Davis County, you still have a pretty good drive. It's the city streets with most of the congestion, like Harrison Boulevard in Ogden, 5600 South and Roy, and SR 193 in Clearfield. Eric. Northbound US 40 coming out of Heber City. Oh, we got a little bit of slowing at that River Road intersection. Uh, beyond that, everything looks good going past Jordanell Reservoir up to the Park City turnoff. Now, if you make that turnoff and go into Park City, expect your usual slowdowns on Currents Boulevard westbound. I 80 through Parley's Canyon looks good, and so does I 15 in Utah County. Now's the time for a new, gorgeous new Nilsen home. Beautiful move in ready townhomes to Rambler communities, maintenance free for all life stages. See what's new for you at NilsonHolmes.com. Eric Butler and KSL Traffic Center. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Matt's back this morning, and it sounds like we're back to, well, a little bit of spring here. Yep, uh, and this is that month where we just kind of swing the temps around. 53 today, mostly cloudy skies. Uh, tomorrow, 45. Chance for some showers, especially in the morning. 42 on Friday. That's coldest of the next seven. Mostly sunny there. And then high pressure starts to work into the west. Saturday and Sunday, highs in the low to mid 50s. Another taste of spring Monday, 57. Then we back it off to 53 with uh, another weak uh, little spring storm on Tuesday. Rain this afternoon or tonight? Uh, what's the timing there? Yeah, I, it looks like late tonight, early tomorrow morning would, would be the brunt of it. And even then, it's not going to be a ton. Okay. Uh, just cloudy out there right now, 41 degrees. Hey, if you're in the market to sell or buy a home, don't do it on your own. Uh, there are so many pitfalls, so many uh, speed bumps that can cause you to not get either the deal you're looking for to sell or to spend too much on a home you're looking to buy. That's why you need the expertise of the Stern team. They have so many different ways to help you, and there are so many uh, different questions that have to be asked. We've told you before, they have, have told us that there are over 100 details involved in selling a home, and the team, and that's really the emphasis uh, at the Stern office, is the team has multiple people handling every detail so nothing falls through the cracks. They even have 100 active buyer clients that are standing by, and maybe that uh, perfect buyer for your home is already there and waiting for your listing. They also have flexible commissions, which means you can pay as little as 2% while still receiving the Stern team's full-service promise plan. And, man, you, you want to uh, compare them to other uh, Salt Lake agents? The average agent in Utah, they tell us, sells eight homes a year. The Stern team helps over 400 families reach those real estate goals every year. Let them help you. Find them online at sternteam.com or just Google the Stern team. Les Olson IT now provides building security solutions. Do you need physical access control for your facilities? Are you looking for video surveillance systems accessible in the palm of your hand? Les Olson IT has what you need, and their low voltage network cabling specialists will install it and make sure it's working the way it should. Learn more at lesolson.com. Les Olson IT. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at certapro.com. It already feels like home. I was at Super Tuesday Caucus Night, and it was an experience. I saw the good and the bad. I'll tell you why I think this is a one-time experience in Utah. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Quick look at Utah's money here is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. The market's in the green in the first half hour. The Dow is up 143. 
That's almost four-tenths. The S&P is up six-tenths of a percent with a gain of 29. The Nasdaq also up six-tenths. It's up 105 in the first half hour of trading. And it's time this morning for Cougar Tracks. Big ball game coming up tonight, so let's check in with KSL Sports BYU insider Mitch Harper. 20th ranked BYU basketball is back on the road in the gauntlet of the Big 12 tonight. It's BYU's last road game of the regular season, and it might be the toughest. Tonight, BYU takes on number six Iowa State. BYU defeated the Cyclones in January in Provo 87 72, but in Ames, the Cyclones are undefeated and are looking for their first perfect season at home since 2002. They're an incredible team, and it's an incredible venue. I'm excited for the guys to go experience it. It's like everywhere we go is so good, isn't it? Yeah. Like every single gym. You know, I've been there a couple times, and it, you know, they're an incredible team. They have great leadership. They're really athletic, really skilled. They play incredible basketball everywhere, but especially at home. And so it's going to be a massive challenge for our guys. BYU versus Iowa State tips off tonight at 7 p.m. with pregame coverage beginning at 6, and all the in-game coverage can be found on kslsports.com. With Cougar Tracks, I'm Mitch Harper. On your legacy home of the BYU Cougars, KSL News Radio. The other night, my son and I, we made this special trip to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. This time, we happened to go to downtown Salt Lake City at 275 Southwest Temple, and we had a celebratory dinner each and every year. We kind of have a race to see who reads the most books. Ian won. I paid. What an amazing night. First of all, with my son. Second of all, with the incredible food that awaited us at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Now, we both happened to go with ribeye. However, Ian went with the ribeye, the big one. And the desserts, the side dishes were simply amazing. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, downtown Salt Lake City. But of course, I love the location at Hotel Park City as well. It is so beautiful up there right now. And of course, there's still some great skiing. We're kind of on that bridge between winter and springtime. It's the perfect place to have an after-ski gathering. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, Hotel Park City, downtown Salt Lake City. It is the place for the best dining you have ever had. Gillette Heating and Air Conditioning is offering furnace maintenance for 30% off. Call 385-GET-HEAT today to take advantage of this limited-time offer. Carrier, turn to the experts. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. KSL News Time 759. It's time for traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. All right, northbound I-15 looks a whole lot better getting into downtown, Andy. It is. You still got a little bit of delay back closer to 21st South. That's the back end of where the slowing was when we had a crash near the I-80 turn. But we also have some slowdowns around Midvale, 7200 South. And South 15 is beginning to back up from the Bluffdale exit to go into Utah County just that top of the hill by point of the mountain. Heather? We still have good speeds in Weber and most of Davis County on I-15 and US-89. But as you continue south I-15 toward downtown, you do have some brake lights from Warm Springs Road. And then on the west side belt, just as you transition off of Legacy Parkway, you're going to be stop and go all the way to the turnoff to I-80 West near the airport. I haven't heard of a crash, just a lot of traffic right now. Eric? And so far, I-15 is running just fine in Utah County from Provo to Point of the Mountain. Uh, no issues there. And uh, getting over to the freeway, just got your usual slowdowns. Pioneer Crossing and 2100 North heading east over to the freeway. For a top-quality kitchen or a bath with, with top-quality craftsmanship, call 3-Day Kitchen and Bath. They're always on time with no delays and meet all deadlines. Visit 3daykitchen.com. Eric Butler, KSL Traffic Center. 53 degrees for a high later. You heard Matt say it. Rain coming in late tonight, probably carrying through tomorrow morning's drive. And right now it is 41 degrees.
KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 8 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes, Amanda Dixon with the morning off, and it is our top story this hour. Utah's Super Tuesday Caucus, a special hour on Utah's Morning News. The Super Tuesday results are in, and Nikki Haley is out. We're standing by to hear remarks from Nikki Haley, who is suspending her presidential campaign. KSL political director Rick Klein says former President Trump won every contest except in Vermont, but it was too little too late for Haley. In red states, in blue states, whether it was California or Massachusetts, Texas or Oklahoma, these were big Trump victories virtually everywhere. Now, there were places that he was a little bit weaker. Nikki Haley won the first state she did in this entire contest in Vermont, around the suburbs, in places like Virginia, in places like Colorado. Signs of weakness, signs of skepticism around Donald Trump. And yes, now the question becomes, what happens to all those Haley voters? As soon as Haley steps to the mic, you'll hear it live here on KSL News Radio. We're set to take you live to Charleston, South Carolina. Meantime, here in Utah, Donald Trump beat out Nikki Haley by nearly 20 points at the Republican caucus last night. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston continues our live team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. Peter? Tim, those 20 points may sound like a big number, but Utah actually turned out to be the closest contest between former President Donald Trump and Nikki Haley, besides Vermont, where Haley won. Trump got 58 percent to Nikki's 41 percent here in Utah, and the Associated Press has declared that the gap is too big for Haley to make up. There's still a third of votes left to count, though. Trump won this round without needing to visit the state once during the election cycle, while Haley touched down in Salt Lake City last week and gave a speech at Utah Valley University. This Trump win is a big turnaround from 2016 when he snagged only 14 percent of the vote. But Trump got a bigger primary win in 2020 against a list of more obscure names. However, Trump and Haley voters could agree that last night's caucuses were messy. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson continues our team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. South Jordan resident Carrie Butler says tempers flared at the Bingham High School caucus meeting. There was a guy that just screamed at one of these cute little high school kids that was checking people in and tensions were, were pretty high. When people couldn't get registered because they couldn't get onto the website, or in my case, had already registered but couldn't find a QR code. Butler says problems seemed to escalate when the server went down. She says after about an hour and a half, everybody was allowed into the meetings. According to KSL.com, GOP Chair Robert Axon blamed the confusion on volunteers not showing up and a lack of awareness of how the system works. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. Meantime, the Democratic Party had a very different night here in Utah. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla continues our live team coverage. Alexandria? Tim, the Democrats opted for a traditional mail in primary election, and it seemingly paid off with a much less chaotic night. President Joe Biden won in a landslide victory with 87.5% of the votes. The runner ups were neck and neck, though. Marianne Williamson got 4.9% of the votes. That's compared to Dean Phillips with 4.4%. But that 300 vote difference, it doesn't really matter compared to the 51,000 vote difference between Williamson and President Biden. All of the state's 30 Democratic delegates will go to the current president. Sorry to interrupt, uh, Alexandria, but Nikki Haley now at the microphone. Let's take you live to Charleston, South Carolina. Just last week, my mother, a first-generation immigrant, got to vote for her daughter for president. Only in America. I am filled with the gratitude for the outpouring of support we've received from all across our great country. But the time has now come to suspend my campaign. I said I wanted Americans to have their voices heard. I have done that. I have no regrets. And although I will no longer be a candidate, I will not stop using my voice for the things I believe in. Our national debt will eventually crush our economy. A smaller federal government is not only necessary for our freedom, it is necessary for our survival. The road to socialism is the road to ruin for America. Our Congress is dysfunctional and only getting worse. It is filled with followers, not leaders. Term limits for Washington politicians are needed now more than ever. Our world is on fire because of America's retreat. Standing by our allies in Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan is a moral imperative. 
But it's also more than that. If we retreat further, there will be more war, not less. As important, while we stand strong for the cause of freedom, we must bind together as Americans. We must turn away from the darkness of hatred and division. I will continue to promote all those values, as is the right of every American. I sought the honor of being your president. But in our great country, being a private citizen is privilege enough in itself. And that's a privilege I very much look forward to enjoying. In all likelihood, Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee when our party convention meets in July. I congratulate him and wish him well. I wish anyone well who would be America's president. Our country is too precious to let our differences divide us. I have always been a conservative Republican and always supported the Republican nominee. But on this question, as she did on so many others, Margaret Thatcher provided some good advice when she said, quote, never just follow the crowd, always make up your own mind. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. And I hope he does that. At its best, politics is about bringing people into your cause, not turning them away. And our conservative cause badly needs more people. This is now his time for choosing. I end my campaign with the same words I began it from the book of Joshua. I direct them to all Americans, but especially to so many of the women and girls out there who put their faith in our campaign. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for God will be with you wherever you go. In this campaign, I have seen our country's greatness from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, America. God bless you. So there you have it. Nikki Haley officially suspends her presidential campaign and, as expected, stops short of endorsing Donald Trump, but uh, saying that this is his time and challenging him to uh, unify the party and to speak to those that voted for her along the primary trail. She uh, talked about national debt concerns, uh, the need for a smaller government, uh, and then took a bit of a shot at Congress, saying that it's full of followers not right now, not leaders. And then, of course, something she knows a lot about as her time as U.N. ambassador uh, took a moment to address what's going on in the rest of the world and talking about foreign policy. We'll uh, continue to get reaction to uh, all of this uh, coming up with a a look at uh, more of the results as they come in from uh, Super Tuesday here in Utah throughout the day, throughout the afternoon here on KSL, where the news time is 808. For over 80 years, Farm Bureau Financial Services has been protecting farmers and ranchers season after season. You need to know you're covered and you've got somebody covering your back. You've got local people that everybody knows. And we have a good policy and a good agent, and I guess that's what you need to be able to sleep at night. Loyal, local, and rooted in ag for over 80 years. Learn more at fbfs.com slash rooted in ag. It's your future. Let's protect it. Manuel Plumbing and Heating has been a trusted name in the Salt Lake area for over 100 years. Since 1920, we have provided plumbing, heating, and air conditioning services in our area. Hello, I'm Brian Jackson, fourth generation of our family-owned and operated business. We promise to provide honest service, competitive pricing, and the most knowledgeable plumbers, technicians, and sales staff around. The next time you're in need of any plumbing, heating, or air conditioning service or repairs, Call the company you can trust. Call Manuel Plumbing and Heating today, 801-262-4671. Can we talk about something difficult to discuss? Are you going through a difficult financial time? You have equity in your home, but nobody can help. I'm Jason Erskine with American Home Loans, and we have created the Bridge Loan Program to use your equity regardless of your credit at this time. The Bridge Loan can be used to pay debts, collections, IRS liens, divorce settlement, or just simply improve your property. Give us a call at 801-262-2221. This loan creates a bridge between now and a much brighter future. During COVID, one of our clients had over $85,000 on credit cards. Their scores were too low to borrow on their home. We were able to save them $2,000 a month, and after eight months, they qualified for a conventional loan and improved their situation. Look, the consultation is free. 
please let us see what we can do for you. Call 801-262-2221. That's 801-262-2221. Or go to AmericanHomeLoans.com. That's AmericanHomeLoans.com. NMLS 245422, Equal Housing Lender. Time again for a look at uh, traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we looking, Andy? Got some stop and go north 15 between 72 and 5300 south. But our northbound delay in downtown Salt Lake City has cleared. Southbound crash we had just before Point of the Mountain, which is what was causing that delay near Bluffdale. Now all the way over to the left, so the slowdowns heading from Draper and Bluffdale into Utah County have cleared. Heather? No delays right now. Southbound I-15 from Ogden into downtown Salt Lake, but the west side belt still bit under the speed limit between Legacy Parkway and the I-80 West Airport turnoff. You have pretty good speeds all morning long on US-89 and I-84, and roads are pretty much dried out unless you're way far north of Brigham City. Eric? In Utah County, I-15 is looking pretty well northbound from Provo to Lehigh. We are seeing some general slowing on State Street uh, heading north from Orem up to American Fork. And if you're eastbound from Redwood Road over to the freeway, your usual spots are slowing uh, on uh, Pioneer Cross and Lehigh's Main Street and 2100 North. Come explore Logan, hit the slopes or rent snowmobiles, see a live performance, catch the Cash Valley Cowboy Rendezvous March 14th through the 17th with Western music, cowboy poetry, and dances. ExploreLogan.com. Eric Butler, MKSL Traffic Center. With a frontal boundary parking around that Idaho border again today, we'll go mostly cloudy skies, high of 53. Overnight, 35. Tomorrow will be 45 degrees with some clouds and maybe a pop-up shower. Mostly sunny, though, and cooler on Friday, high of 42. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now in Salt Lake City, it is 41 degrees. I'm sure uh, Dave and Debbie are going to be focused uh, again today on results from Super Tuesday. We'll check in with Deb and uh, verify that coming up here in just a minute. If you're a business owner out there, large or small, uh, the place to turn these days to try and keep up with technology, which, uh, let's admit it, is like a moving target. Some describe it as like whack-a-mole, where every time you think, <laughs> you think you've hit your target with technology, things change again. And it can be intimidating for business owners in particular that are looking to grow their company in uh, the new year. Les Olson is now Les Olson IT, and they have everything you need, be it uh, a help desk uh, need or cybersecurity, data backup. They will actually uh, start from the very beginning and run your cabling directly from the street to your servers where the, that they can also help you decide where you put inside of your uh, business uh, brick and mortar. And, of course, they can still take care of your copier or printer needs. But bottom line, they're in the business of keeping you in business, and they have fantastic security features as well, right down to facial recognition. Find out more about this great company. It's now Les Olson IT, and they've got nine locations to serve you from Logan to Las Vegas. You'll find them at lesolson.com. Are you looking to get a COVID-19 booster to stay healthy this cold and flu season? If you join the Beehive Study, you'll have the chance to receive up to $550 for getting a booster and completing weekly COVID tests and brief surveys about your health. Don't want to get a COVID-19 booster? That's okay, too. You can still join the Beehive Study and receive up to $550 for completing weekly COVID tests and surveys. Help advance research at the University of Utah while taking care of yourself this season. Call 801-203-0320 or email beehivestudy at utah.edu to learn more. You can also visit the study website at BeehiveStudy.com. Amco presents Bet You Didn't Know. Bet you didn't know that your car's transmission is made up of 800 pieces. Also, bet you didn't know that Amco's fixed over 40 million transmissions and that Amco offers a nationwide warranty. Check out Amco's multiple financing options so you can fix it fast and pay it off slow. That's Amco AA. MCO. Imagine your team always looking and feeling their best in high-performance technical workwear. Cintas can make it happen. They have garments for almost every job imaginable. And with the Cintas Workwear Program, you get freshly laundered garments delivered every week for everyone on your team. Great garments without the bother of laundry. That's a real perk for employees. Find out how Cintas can boost team image and morale. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! and get ready for the workday. 
Your gas light's on. We need to fill up. Gas around here is too expensive. Don't drive all over searching for the lowest prices. Just download the free Upside app and get cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying gas? I'm stopping now to download Upside and fill up my tank. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Cash out any time to your bank account, PayPal, or e-gift card. Download the free Upside app now and use promo code GIFT for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill up. That's promo code GIFT. KSL News Time 815. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Utah Republicans endured a crashed website, long lines, and a lot of confusion at last night's caucuses. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, the Sugar House section of 2100 South will be under construction starting tomorrow. The year and a half long project should make the area more pedestrian friendly. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Right now, traffic on I-15 is uh, still struggling a little bit northbound in Midvale. The crash just cleared from South 15 in Bluffdale. They did a slowdown, though, to get the crash back into traffic. So there may be a little bit of residual slowdowns right now near the 14600 South exit. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Mostly cloudy today with a high of 53. We're down to 45 tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 41 degrees in Salt Lake City with our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. End of the road for Nikki Haley. The former South Carolina governor is announcing this hour that she is quitting the race for the GOP presidential nomination. As we await her announcement, ABC's Alex Perche is in Charleston. We've tailed the Haley campaign in a number of states, and, and while many of them have uh, appreciated her policies and resonated with her policies, I think her message, especially in these last couple of months, as being an alternative to former President Trump is something that most of them, uh, just anecdotally, have really sort of gravitated towards. The exit leaves voters as of right now with the same choice they had in 2020, something a lot of them have said they didn't want. ABC's Catherine Falders has more on Donald Trump's efforts at bringing the party together. While he's saying that he wants to unify the Republican Party at the same time as polls were closing last night, he's still uh, essentially name-called uh, Nikki Haley, calling her crazy, saying she's gone haywire, for example. Nikki Haley won just a single Super Tuesday state, Vermont. Up for final passage in the Alabama House today, a law protecting in vitro fertilization. ABC's Elizabeth Schulz is in Montgomery. The legislation would give doctors civil and criminal immunity for death or damage to an embryo during IVF. Discarding embryos is a typical part of the IVF process. They often aren't viable or don't successfully implant. And after Alabama Supreme Court ruled that frozen embryos legally qualify as children, three of the state's major clinics paused IVF treatments because they were worried that they could be held liable for wrongful death. With no ceasefire deal, the U.S. is calling on Israel to ensure more food can reach those most in need in Gaza. The U.S. dropping more aid by air as the U.N. says thousands are on the brink of famine. Fed Chair Jerome Powell before a House committee right now and reinforcing that the Fed will cut its key interest rate later this year, but that inflation is still being closely monitored. Dow's up 144. You're listening to ABC News. Dave and Dujanovic coming up at the top of the hour. Deb's here now. I'm sure you're going to be taking a look at the good, the bad, and the ugly from last night. Well, specifically the Republican in-person caucus meetings. And I want to be fair to the Republican Party here in Utah. Some people at these caucus meetings, they were, they were smooth. They, were, they reported no problems. However, here at KSL uh, Broadcast House, we received a number of complaints. I also received text messages. I received social media messages uh, regarding ma major complaints at several locations. Uh, and I, we've broken them down into three different categories where we see are the obvious complaints that are coming from Republicans who showed up to vote last night in person. Pre-registration for a lot of people was a complete disaster. The GOP website uh, came up as though it was down or it crashed. Uh, there was not enough Wi-Fi bandwidth at a lot of locations, so people couldn't get on to pre-register once they got there. Not enough volunteers, so lines were out the door and beyond. Uh, people were leaving because of the lines. The elderly couldn't get um, up the hill in some cases because of parking issues. Um, and the volunteers, a lot of them, uh, we heard reports, just didn't know what to do under certain circumstances when people had questions. Uh, so there's a whole host of issues with that. And then we haven't even talked about the tally and the concerns about how people's votes were or Republicans' votes weren't. 
counted last night. We're going to go in-depth today on the David Dujanovic Show, and we're seeking answers from the Republican Party here in Utah as well. All right. We'll look forward to it as we always do. Dave and Debbie coming up. David Dujanovic. This portion of Utah's Morning News is brought to you by Revere Health. 819 means traffic and weather together. Again, brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app, where you can save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy, that looks like freeway speeds to me in Bluffdale. Yep, they cleared the crash and the delays are gone and the sun is out. Yeah, how's that? Uh, But a little bit of heavy southbound traffic still coming up the hill from Bangor Highway from earlier. Traffic on North 15, Midvale to Murray is still heavy, and Bangor and Mountain View both seeing some backups approaching 3,500 south in West Valley. Heather? Well, if you're on the west side belt southbound traveling away from Legacy Parkway, just before the exit to I-80 West at the airport, we do have a trooper on the left side of the freeway. I haven't seen a crash, but we did have a lot of really heavy traffic in that area on the southbound side. So they could have been picking up debris. If you're up in Weburn Davis County, you're pretty much back to normal, not only on the freeways, but also on most of the city streets. Just a little bit of residual slowdown remains on 5600 South and Roy. Eric. We got some eastbound slowing on I-80 between Sugar House and 2300 East. Uh, uh, may have a crash uh, going on there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. So 215 eastbound looks good. Heading north from Cottonwood Heights up to the mouth of Carly's Canyon. And down in Utah County right now, no difficulties on the freeway itself. Uh, you're looking good from Provo to Lehigh. Get Mr. Max Performance Missionary Package, including one performance suit, two, four end collar stretch shirts, three ties, one mission belt, one pair of Echo, or Johnson & Murphy shoes. Just $595. Eric Butler in KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7 day forecast 53 today mostly cloudy skies tomorrow we can see a pop-up shower but nothing crazy 45 the high coolest of the next seven that's friday mostly sunny 42 we rebound for the weekend into the low and mid 50s mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies next week our next next best chance to see a storm won't be till tuesday high of 53 with a chance for showers from the ksl weather center I'm Matt Johnson. Just a sliver of uh, blue sky sneaking through those clouds if you look up to the north here. We'll see how long that lasts, but uh, right now it's a little bit warmer, 243 degrees. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Huge ball game coming up tonight for uh, BYU, and it could mean everything for their seeding in March Madness. They're going to take on Iowa State. Iowa State has not lost a home game all season. And they're ranked, I think, number six, right? And BYU sits at number 20 right now. This is massive for the Cougs and their fans. And you'll hear it live here on KSL. The tip-off at 7. That means we'll have the pregame for you at 6. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News takes you right to our pregame here on KSL. I'm Jason Walton, candidate for U.S. Senate. I'm recording from the Tucson sector of our southern border. And nobody's here. Our government should defend our territory. But President Biden, Mitch McConnell, and career politicians are funding war in other countries while the cartels are waging unchecked war here on American soil. I'm standing up to build the wall, end catch and release, and secure the border. Stand with me. I'm Jason Walton, and I approve this message. Paid for by friends of Jason Walton for Senate. A lot of you already know that when it comes to HVAC maintenance, repair, and replacement, no one helps more homeowners than any hour services. And if you've been thinking about replacing your old furnace and air conditioner, this ad's for you. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and right now we're having our most popular sale of the year. Here's how it works. When you have Any Hour Services install a new air conditioner, we'll give you a new furnace for just the cost to install it, about 400 bucks. The furnace is free. You just pay the labor. One of the reasons this sale is so popular, there are no gimmicks. Like, you have to buy our most expensive air conditioner to qualify for a free furnace. You could buy our most basic, least expensive air conditioner, and you'd still get a new furnace for just the cost to install it. All you have to do is call Any Hour Services by March 31st and schedule a free estimate. One of our HVAC supervisors will come to your home and explain everything. If you think you might be interested, call Any Hour Services today and schedule your free estimate. 801-443-7400. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. Revere Health is dedicated to making healthcare easier and more accessible by offering the latest technologies to improve the patient experience. We offer convenient telehealth appointments so you can receive care from the comfort of your own home. We also offer an online patient portal called Follow My Health that enables you to manage your healthcare online. When you download the Follow My Health app, you can exchange direct messages with your doctor, view lab and test results as soon as they are available, 
renew prescriptions, and review upcoming appointments. If you're ready to schedule your annual physical for 2024, we've made that easier too. Revere Health now offers the ability to schedule appointments online for primary care and select specialties. Visit our website at reverehealth.com to learn more or to schedule your next appointment online. Through these convenient solutions, Revere Health demonstrates its commitment to quality, patient-centric care every day. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner for life. Dave and Eugenific. It was a wild night at Utah's caucus night. Complaints about registration, voting, and the tally process. It felt to me like a good game plan, but the players couldn't execute. I'll tell you why I think this was a good experiment that ultimately failed. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Delta Airlines just boosted the cost of a check bag by 17%. The increase adds 5 bucks to the previous $30 fee for domestic flights. We're told the last time Delta raised baggage fees was back in 2018. Dairy Queen, let the celebrations begin, is bringing back its cherry-dipped cone, but uh, only for a limited time. I guess it was May last year that the fast food chain discontinued the widespread favorite. They are also offering chocolate-dipped and, of course, the ever-popular confetti cake-dipped. Anyone using their parents' Max account, be warned this morning, a password sharing crackdown is coming. Warner Brothers Discovery plans to follow suit of other streaming services like Netflix and Hulu, launching password sharing restrictions for Max in late uh, 2024. Your money at this moment, we're still in the green, up about three-tenths of a percent, getting back some of the losses from the close yesterday on the Dow. It's up 118. The S&P is up 22 points. The NASDAQ up a little more than a third of a percent, three-tenths of a percent here, uh, up 58 this hour. I-80 now slowing as you head uh, from Sugar House toward 2300 East. We'll check your traffic and weather together next. Think about the last time you had uh, the most serious plumbing problem you've had in your, your adult life. I, it's not hard for me because my kids were tiny and they were playing downstairs in what is now the home theater area behind the couch and somebody came running up and said, hey, uh, Tiffany's playing with the bubble on the wall. I There was no bubble on the wall until I got down there and found out that it was a bubble behind the paint that was full of water. So we had to do a little investigating, and it turns out we had a leak under the kitchen sink, and instead of coming out into the kitchen, it was rolling down the wall and into the basement. And that's how quickly something that could be a minor problem becomes a major problem, and you want to know that you've got experts that you can count on that are going to come in, solve the problem, and not just upsell you on, you know, something else in your house that needs to be fixed or replaced. For us, that's superior water and air. They can do that and so much more for your family, right down to getting you good quality drinking water. Even if you're in a business and you still have one of those big unsanitary water bottles in your office, uh, call them and get the help that you need at 801-974-9090 or go to superiorwaterandair.com. The Cougars are fighting for their best chance in the Big Dance. BYU's displayed its resiliency throughout this campaign. Wow. The Big 12 tournament is days away, and then it's the NCAA tournament. Tonight, it's BYU, Iowa State. Free game is at 6 and tip off at 7 on Utah's legacy home for the Cougars. KSL News Radio. Just a reminder, Andy and Steve are going to be out uh, with the movie show this Friday, broadcasting at the Mountain America Expo Center. With advanced window products, affordable, high-quality windows that they manufacture, install, and guarantee for life. Look forward to the broadcast. It's 829. Traffic and weather together is brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy? Well, Tim, I-15 delays are thinning out. We've got a little bit of southbound slowing near Bangor or Highway left over from an earlier crash. North 15 heavy through Midvale because it's always like that this time of the morning. But Bangor and uh, Mountain View both seeing delays at 3,500 south. The rest of the intersections on the west side, really nothing you need to plan too much to avoid. Heather? Things are looking pretty good through Weber and Davis County. We're mostly at speed now on I-15 and the west side belt. Most of the traffic is heading south toward downtown Salt Lake or the airport. Some of the major city streets are still showing a little bit of congestion, but they're quickly easing, especially anywhere near a school zone. Where it's heaviest right now is where US 89 and Harrison Boulevard meet in South Weber. Eric. 
I got the backups, uh, or at least slow moving conditions for eastbound I-80 drivers going from 1300 east, even before that exit, all the way over to about 2300 east. And it looks like for a while they were shutting down uh, the flow to, to address whatever's causing all of that. I-15 Utah County northbound, southbound, that's looking good, but uh, major slowdowns once again on 2100 north, approaching 2300 west. And uh, from that point over to the freeway, that looks good. Don't miss the Bedrock Courts bonus cash event. Get 11% same as cash allowance or 12 months 0% financing on any purchase over $3,000, including countertop sinks and more. Visit bedrockcourts.com. Eric Butler from KSL Traffic Center. 53 for a high later, and Matt telling us the rain uh, going to come back, but whatever we get doesn't look like it's going to be huge amounts starting tonight and continuing through the commute tomorrow morning. Right now, mostly cloudy, 43 degrees. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning. KSL News Time is 8:30, and our top story this half hour: Voters for both former President Trump and former Ambassador Nikki Haley agreed on one thing last night: the Utah Republican Caucus has had some problems. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston begins our team coverage, Super Tuesday Caucus. Utah Republican Party Chair Robert Axon tried to keep one crowd calm last night, but they weren't really convinced. You will want to scam that. It doesn't work. It's not working. Okay, so it's a capacity issue with the or with the. Why do we need a phone to vote? There were problems with the website, long lines, and other delays. Republican voters told KSL TV it didn't matter whether they followed the party's instructions ahead of time. Pre-registered, had all the information, and now we're here in the chaos. They weren't prepared for any of this. On the other hand, Democrats had fewer people and fewer problems at their caucuses. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla continues our team coverage Super Tuesday Caucus. The Utah Democratic Party is crediting their smooth primary to mail-in voting, claiming the process is secure and accessible, unlike what happened at the caucuses last night. Executive Director of the party, Tom DeSerin, called the caucus a pure waste of time, saying, quote, the incompetence displayed by the Republican Party mirrors the chaos that Donald Trump threatens to bring to America, end quote. The results of the primaries show just how in sync the party is. President Joe Biden got 87.5 percent of the votes and all 30 delegates. Alexandria Boniakis, All News Radio. Well, the rematch between former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden basically set now that Nikki Haley officially suspended her campaign. You heard it live here on KSL just a few moments ago. We must bind together as Americans. We must turn away from the darkness of hatred and division. I will continue to promote all those values, as is the right of every American. I sought the honor of being your president. But in our great country, being a private citizen is privilege enough in itself. And that's a privilege I very much look forward to enjoying. In all likelihood, Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee when our party convention meets in July. I congratulate him and wish him well. I wish anyone well who would be America's president. Our country is too precious to let our differences divide us. I have always been a conservative Republican and always supported the Republican nominee. But on this question, as she did on so many others, Margaret Thatcher provided some good advice when she said, quote, never just follow the crowd, always make up your own mind. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it who did not support him. And I hope he does that. Nikki Haley, by the way, did win Vermont last night, and in doing that, uh, becomes the first Republican woman to ever win a presidential primary. She says she's filled with gratitude for the outpouring of support she was, has received from people around the country. The economy and the border will be top issues in this year's presidential election. ABC's Brian Clark has more. Exit polls in six Republican nominating contests show the schism in the party. 80% of Nikki Haley's supporters say Donald Trump would not be fit for office if convicted of a crime. Looking at Super Tuesday exit polls, voters in North Carolina trusted Trump to handle issues like the economy and border by a nearly 4-to-1 margin. It was about a 2-to-1 edge for Trump in Virginia. 
Brian Clark, ABC News. Also developing this morning, in other news, a West Valley City police vehicle got smashed up last night as an officer was checking up on a suspected burglary. Sergeant Andrew Steinbrecher says an officer found a box truck leaving the scene and pulled it over. He activated his emergency lights and the box truck um, suddenly rammed his vehicle, uh, disabling it, and then took off. This happened near 6300 West and Beagley Road. The box truck was later found abandoned, but no suspects have been found. First look traffic, and he's back in the traffic center. And right now, if you're on I-15, that drive is uh, looking uh, better on the northbound side. Still have some heavy traffic in Midvale. Eastbound 80 was backing up for a bit as they went from Sugar House towards 2300 East. That seems to be speeding up now as well. And so no massive delays. Probably the biggest city street delay is still 2100 North Lehigh trying to get between Redwood and I-15. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Speaking of a drive, a driver in Utah County is in big trouble after he told police he would not pull over because he was just too stressed out. The whole scene felt right out of a music video. Evidently, the driver was dealing with issues with his girlfriend before he found himself going 105 miles per hour towards Salt Lake City. That's why he was feeling really stressed, and when he saw the deputy, he didn't want to stop. He sped away at 120. Still, police confronted him at his home the next day. He's now facing charges for refusing to stop and for speeding. We don't know yet if he'll be facing another charge for aggressive driving. Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Utahns, it turns out, are more at risk for body image issues than almost any other state. Based on Google searches for weight loss and dieting, the mental health website MindWings.com ranked Utah number five in the nation for body image issues. Ashley Hunt is a Utah therapist that works with eating disorder patients. She thinks social media combined with Utah's perfectionist culture could be a couple of the reasons why. Hunt also cites the large number of social media influencers uh, here in Utah that create unrealistic expectations. A student from eastern Utah is going to re represent the entire United States at the 47th World Skills Wend Welding Competition. It's coming up in France. Wyatt Hansen says the national competition was intense. The national competition that I just won consists of four different modules. Module one is a set of test plates. To module two, you have a pressure vessel, which is like a big box or whatever that has a ton of different little pieces. To module three is the aluminum project, which they call them widgets. The stainless project's module four. Hansen says the trainers gave him a week to relax before getting back to training. He's planning to fly out to France sometime in the beginning of September. Don Brinkerhoff, KSL News Radio. Oh, and one more thing. There was uh, no winner in last night's Mega Millions jackpot. Nick Dodd was standing in line this morning to buy a ticket at, I love the name of this place, Lucky Leon's Food Mart near Atlanta. As long as I can remember, it's been called Lucky Leon's. <laughs> the drawing now goes up to $687 million. We've got uh, scattered spots of slowing on the valley freeways, and the mountains aren't too bad either. We'll check the entire drive next. Bigger stories demand more accountability, more experience, more trust. If it's like an election day or we're expecting some bad weather, KSL presents the story. I'm biased. It's a good local source. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. It's the Paris RV Toy Hauler Madness Triple Play. We've gathered three of our top selling toy haulers and listed them at the same incredibly low price of $29,995 or $304 per month and nothing down. Stop the madness. madness. Choose from the 2024 XLR Boost, the Open Range 25TH, or the Cherokee 24RRT. Your choice from $29,995 at all three Utah Paris RV locations. See dealer for details. Go to ParisRV.com. It's Toy Hauler Madness at Paris RV. Paris RV is your locally owned, family run RV dealership. We strive hard to find the very best RVs for the price. With four locations, over 1,000 RVs in stock, 42 service bays, and four super parts stores, we are sure to help take your family on the best RV vacation. Check out our perfect family bunkhouse trailer, the 26BH, that sleeps nine for $19,995 or $227 a month. Zero, Zero down. down. Life is short. Enjoy it. North Murray, South Murray, Payson, and Pocatello. ParisRV.com. Held over due to popular demand. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to save 40 to 80% on a hot tub and swim spa. This weekend only, Friday through Sunday, Utah State Fair Park. Be advised, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to save 40 to 80% on a hot tub and swim spa. This weekend only, Friday through Sunday, Utah State Fair Park. 18-month interest-free financing. Our factories have demanded we sell 1,000 hot tubs and swim spas this weekend. Utah State Fair Park. 
huge factory incentives, factory rebates, this weekend only. Utah State Fair Park. We can remove your old hot tub. Free delivery of your new hot tub. Hot tub starting at $2,999. Utah State Fair Park. Free delivery of your new hot tub. Just relax and enjoy. Utah State Fair Park. Friday, noon to 8 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Free admission, free parking, free delivery. Utah State Fair Park. Call 833-SPA-SALE or visit hottubandswimspa-sale.com. If you're just getting in the car this morning, it was about 40 minutes ago or so that uh, Nikki Haley stepped to the microphone in Charleston, South Carolina, to suspend her presidential campaign. And uh, it, we're getting reaction to it, obviously, not just... Uh, in Washington, uh, but also here in Utah, and we'll continue to follow the story throughout the day, throughout the afternoon. Stay with us. It's 839. If you're still on the road making your way in this morning, let's check the drive brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Here again is Andy Farnsworth. At North 15, most delays gone. There's still some heavy traffic near the 90th and 7200 south on ramps. Looks good out of Tooele on I-80 and the 201 freeway. Ba- Bangor, the only one looks like has any real delays is about 3500 south intersection. Heather? We do still have delays on US-89 northbound, hooking onto Harrison Boulevard in the South Ogden area. That's really the only major backup I'm seeing throughout Weber and Davis County. Right now you've got good speeds on I-15, US-89, Legacy Parkway, all heading south southbound towards Salt Lake. Eric. We still got delays uh, eastbound on 2100 North in Lehigh, heading from Redwood Road over to 2300 West. Then it gets a little bit better as you get over to the freeway entrance ramps. The Pioneer Crossing, not too bad now, heading east away from Saratoga Springs and Lehigh's Main Street, also good. If you're on I-15 throughout the county, I, uh, it's uh, in great shape from Santa Quin to Point of the Mountain. That's a 30 minute drive so far this morning. Now's the time for a gorgeous new Nilsson home. Beautiful, moving, ready townhomes to Rambler communities. Maintenance free for all life stages. See what's new for you at NilssonHomes.com. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Keeping the clouds in the forecast today with a high of 53. Overnight dipping off to 35. Tomorrow, we've got a slight chance for a shower. 45 the high. Then clearing out with cooler weather on Friday. 42 the high. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. But now it's 43 degrees downtown. And just in, more breaking news this morning. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell, who announced uh, just a few days ago that he would be stepping down from uh, that leadership, has come out this morning and endorsed Donald Trump in the 2024 presidential race. Interesting twist there and did not take long on the heels of uh, the Super Tuesday voting. We'll Continue to get reaction to a check-in with ABC coming up here in just a minute. Our news time is 842. A happy place comes in many colors. Whatever your color, bring happiness home with Serta Pro Painters and make your happy place your home. Serta Pro Painters, that's painting happy. During our spring sales event, special offers are available through April 30th. Schedule your home painting project today and bring happiness home. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Contractor license and registration information is available at CertaPro.com. already feels like home. Did you know 96% of Americans lose an average of $111,000 in Social Security income? And it's because they claim their benefits at the wrong time. Don't lose $111,000 in Social Security income. That's rightfully yours. Learn how you could wring every nickel out of your benefits on Retirement Solutions Radio this Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock right here on KSL. News Radio 1027. Join Mike Stevens of Capital Wealth Advisors for Retire Right Radio, Saturdays at 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. That's Retire Right Radio with Mike Stevens, Saturdays at 5 a.m. and 9 p.m. Would you like to be part of an important research study and receive up to $550? The Beehive Study at the University of Utah is comparing how well two different FDA-authorized booster vaccines protect people against COVID-19. You can decide to get a booster or not and still participate. By joining the Beehive Study, you'll have the chance to receive up to $550 for completing activities such as weekly COVID tests and brief surveys about your health. Call 801-203-0320 or email beehivestudy at utah.edu to learn more. You can also visit the study website at www.beehivestudy.com. Ah, the life of a small business owner. Keeping the lights on, calling all the shots, and then there's workplace accidents. 500-degree ovens, rusty nails. Danger lurks around every corner. Workplace accidents can happen, but there is an easy way to keep your employees covered. 
Talk to your agent about workers' comp coverage from Pi or go to piinsurance.com and get a quote. Safety first, then Pi Insurance. Individual rates, offerings, and savings may vary. Subject to policy terms and conditions. Not available in all states and situations. KSL News Time 845. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Donald Trump won Utah's Republican caucus last night, and it wasn't close. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, a West Valley police vehicle got smashed by a box truck overnight after police pulled the truck over for a suspected burglary. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Well, I-15 speeds are pretty good throughout the valleys, uh, Ogden to Salt Lake to Provo. Closest thing to slowdowns is some northbound traffic heavy coming into downtown right now, but uh, your drive times should be unaffected. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A few degrees warmer than yesterday, but still dealing with the clouds. I'm Matt Johnson. We actually have a little bit of sunshine downtown this hour, 43 degrees, and a look at our top national stories. This is a special report from ABC News. Your voice, your vote. I'm Sherry Preston, and now it's a two-person race. I am filled with the gratitude for the outpouring of support we've received from all across our great country. But the time has now come to suspend my campaign. And former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley dropping out of the Republican presidential race, setting up a rematch of 2020. In all likelihood, Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee when our party convention meets in July. I congratulate him and wish him well. I wish anyone well who would be America's president. Our country is too precious to let our differences divide us. Haley, during her announcement in Charleston, however, did not endorse Donald Trump and said she said it's up to him to earn the support of Republicans who didn't vote for him. This just in, outgoing Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has just announced he is endorsing Donald Trump. This is ABC News. Let's continue to take a look back now at Super Tuesday. Utah Republicans picked uh, former President Donald Trump as their nominee in last night's caucus meetings. But there were problems with some long lines, computer registration issues, and frustrated voters in several meeting locations. Here's some voters KSL spoke to last night. There was some rage, and there was a guy that just screamed at one of these cute little high school kids that was checking people in, and, you know, tensions were, were pretty high. There were a number of people who were leaving, unfortunately, because they felt like, I don't know where to go, and this is a mess. Pre-registered, had all the information, and now we're here in the chaos. They weren't prepared for any of this. GOP Chair Robert Axon uh, told me last hour that the majority of the caucus meetings went on without problems. Uh, we had a couple of glitches here and there that we had to navigate, and some uh, venues had uh, higher than expected turnout. All of that combined for a few curveballs here and there, and, you know, some things uh, went very well, and some others we missed the mark. We also checked in this morning with ABC Stephen Portnoy, uh, and he said that we can now... A start to turn anyway toward the general election. The matchup has been selected by voters. It's going to be a Donald Trump Joe Biden rematch, barring something unforeseen. And uh, look, uh, you see it in the aggregate vote on the Republican side, roughly 25 percent. That's the number we should focus on. 25 percent of those who voted in the contest to date, including your state of Utah overall, uh, chose Nikki Haley and not Donald Trump. Uh, and Donald Trump running now for the third time to be his party standard bearer can't achieve, uh, you know, a greater level of support than 75 percent. Where does the other 25 percent go? Are, are these people going to come back and vote for him because they can't stomach another four years of Joe Biden as president of the United States? Will they sit home? We don't know the answer to that. But it's going to be those voters and also disaffected voters on the Democratic side will be key to this race. The X factor. A third-party candidacy could still emerge. You have uh, RFK Jr., Cornell West on the ballot. That could be spoilers for either uh, major party candidate. A lot of variables in play. There are a lot of variables, and one of those today is already beginning to play out. Uh, Nikki Haley, of course, when she suspended her campaign at the top of the hour, sort of threw out a challenge to uh, former President Trump for him to do some things and to say some things to unify the party and uh, earn those voters that were following her through this primary uh, campaign, this primary road. The Biden uh, campaign is also talking about the need to reach out to those uh, Haley voters. They see that as an opportunity to uh, maybe uh, broaden their reach across uh, political lines. So it's going to be interesting over the next little while. And of course, over the next eight months, you can count on KSL News Radio. We'll have uh, President Biden's State of the Union address coming up for you tomorrow night. That's scheduled at 7 o'clock.
It's 849. Time for a look at uh, traffic and weather together this morning. Brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy Farnsworth is in the traffic center. Traffic on I-15 still clear at the south end. As you come through the valley, your drive time should only be about uh, 18 to 20 minutes. Uh, the closest thing to some slowing we have is near 21st south. Mountain View and Bangor. Bangor is mostly clear of delays at the south end. That's where we have some southbound Mountain View waits at the intersections through daybreak. But northbound Bangor, 47th and 35th south might be the only ones where you have some extra time. Heather? Looks like we still have a few little rain showers going through Sardine Canyon. That's between Logan and Brigham City. Roads are still a bit damp, and we're seeing some raindrops stick to the camera lens. But it looks like the snow has melted, so you shouldn't have too many slowdowns getting between those two cities. Once you hop on I-15 and head south into Salt Lake, there's nothing to hold you up. Eric. Foothill Drive, uh, just a little bit slow in a couple, at a couple of the stoplights as you head up from I-82, the uh, University of Utah campus. If you're on I-80 through the mountains right now, that looks good. And that earlier slowdowns we had eastbound I-80 going from Sugar House over to the mouth of the canyon, that that's all dissipated. I-15, Utah County, northbound, southbound, that is uh, moving along just fine. Big O Tires is your one-stop shop for tires and service. Now through March 17th, buy three, get one free on select sets of tires. Big O Tires, the team you trust. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, mostly cloudy today with a high of 53, so be a touch warmer than yesterday, borderline spring-like for some. Hey, chance for showers tomorrow, 45, 42 mostly sunny on Friday. We back up to 50 degrees on Saturday, mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy, and 55 by Sunday should be a gorgeous one. Early next week, Monday, 57, and then another chance for some showers on Friday, high of 53. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. We actually have sunshine downtown. Things have improved quite a bit in the last uh, half hour or so. And right now, 43 degrees downtown. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll get one more look at uh, money news this morning as the markets try to recover some of the losses from the closing bell yesterday. I think it's fun that our friends at Utah Community Credit Union have decided to enlist the help of... Uh, Utah jazz great Walker Kessler as somebody that can help them promote their new elevated checking account. He's a big man. He knows something about being elevated today, but let me tell you about this fantastic new checking account that is just waiting for you. Uh, Amanda's already uh, signed up for her elevated checking right now, and it's more than just a checking account. There are some things on here that will uh, amaze you. More benefits, more savings, more online protections. Have you ever heard of a checking account that, for instance, would give you cell phone protection with up to $600 in repair or replacement coverage per incident or roadside assistance, 24-7 service for towing. Now, if you're like me, you've got other services that do that. You don't need to spend that money anymore. And even telehealth, 24-7 access to licensed health professionals with zero copay. And then there are all the other benefits that you can think of that are related to security, like credit monitoring, identity monitoring, uh, and even some discounts on your loans up to a quarter of a percent on any new UCCU auto recreational vehicle or, or personal loan. You need to find out more about this uh, great elevated checking. Uh, you, if you're a member of UCCU, you know how to do it. If you're not a member, uh, getting elevated checking is easy. You just visit UCCU.com. You're going to love where you bank. Any Hour Services can help unclog any drain in your house. Whether you have a backup, a clog, or a slow drain you want fixed, call Any Hour Services or visit anyhourservices.com. I give my all to my family. I give my best to my job. I give my time to my community. And to myself, I'm giving permission to drive the way I've always wanted. In luxury. In style. Today, not someday. I'm headed to Jerry Signer Cadillac to choose from an entire line of sleek crossovers in stock and the area's largest selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. I've earned a Cadillac. If you have two, then come in today to experience the Signer difference. Are you tired of yo-yo dieting? Are you thinking about trying the latest fad prescription drug with their long list of possible serious side effects? Most people don't realize that while you may lose weight, it's just temporarily suppressing your hunger 
longer, so as soon as you get off the drug, your frustration and your weight could come right back to haunt you. At slcfatloss.com, we know the secret to quick weight loss and most importantly, safe and lasting weight loss. Our program has helped over 40,000 clients across the country break the weight loss code. Gone are the starvation diet plans. Our program is healthy weight loss, using real whole foods and proprietary strategies to help guide our clients through their successful weight loss with a roadmap to keep the weight off long term. I'm Dave Noriega, and when I heard from Salt Lake City Fat Loss that I could lose 20 to 30 pounds in just a month or two, I thought they were crazy. But in 30 days, I've lost 30 pounds. I feel great. It's still going. Find out for yourself. 801-450-1882. You can get a free consultation at slcfatloss.com. Results may vary. Dave and Eugenific. It was a wild night at Utah's caucus night. Complaints about registration, voting, and the tally process. It felt to me like a good game plan, but the players couldn't execute. I'll tell you why I think this was a good experiment that ultimately failed. Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money this hour is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. If you ever wish there was a plant-based Oscar Mayer wiener, well, now you're in luck. Coming to the market this year, we're told, is the not hot dog and the not sausage Ingenious naming there. It's uh, exactly what you think, plant-based brats and hot dogs. And by the way, if you had trouble logging into your social media yesterday, there's a reason for it. Meta experienced a full outage for more than an hour. All Meta platforms were affected, including Facebook, Instagram threads, and Facebook Messenger. Your money at this moment, we're still headed in the right direction. The Dow is up 157. The S&P is up 32. The NASDAQ also on the plus side, uh, almost three quarters of a percent now. It's up 111 points. No crashes, no major delays. We'll check your traffic and weather together next. I've always said you can make progress or you can make excuses, but you, but you cannot do both. So no more excuses. I know when it comes to weight loss, you have all kinds of excuses. I'm too busy. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll start next week after the holiday. Excuses or progress, what do you want? When I decided I was sick of the excuses and ready to make progress on my health and wellness, I turned to Soto Weight Loss. S-O-T-A, it stands for state-of-the-art because it is state-of-the-art weight loss. You don't have to do it alone. You have someone who can help you every step of the way, deal with